one tail, the hand, here it is, and it's his, and he's one tail, and you. So Callaway has won the toss, and they will defer. So uh, that'll work for us, guys. All right, I like it. I like it. We'll get that. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, now, you, you and I have kind of joked about this, Greg. Has anyone ever deferred the other team, uh, gave the ball to that team? You ever seen that happen? Defer, and I'll defer back? Yeah. I don't know that I have. I, have, I don't think I have either. So we'll probably see that defense on the field. I don't think they're going to defer. We'll do that, and we'll have a kickoff. Like I said, let's just keep it here, guys, because we've got to, I, I'm just too excited to send it back to the station because as I look on the field, we've got to, all the pageantry, everything going. All the, all the kids are excited. The fans in the stands are excited. Even the referees look like they're going to have a good time. You really like, you really like the uh, the pregame there. You know, the officials set the tone for the game. I really like what they said there about enjoy yourselves, fellas. It's a big moment. Uh, play the game and enjoy yourselves. And if you need help, you come find us. So, I uh, really like the way this one's uh, this one's taken uh, taken off. Cavaliers uh, going to be on defense first, and uh, uh, let's see if we can shut down that high-powered uh, offense from St. Pius. All right. Well, you know, for a lot of guys, uh, 70 to 80 guys, this will be the last game they'll play this year. We certainly hope it's not the Callaway Cavaliers. You that's, got that's that right. That's a great point, Greg. Let's uh, get a quick thing I need to read to you because uh, this is a special ball game uh, sponsored by the Georgia High School Association. The Georgia High School Association would like to thank its corporate partners for their support of high school athletics and activities. Georgia Farm Bureau, Verizon, Georgia Leopard Membership Corporation, Technical College System of Georgia, Gatorade, Wilson, U.S. Marine Corps, Mizuno, Sports Medicine South, Regions Bank, Georgia Army National Guard, and the Sports Authority. Thank you from the Georgia High School Association and also from uh, Eagle 1023. We're happy that you are a part of this ball game tonight. Well, guys, let's look down the field. Again, uh, everybody is up on their feet on both sides, excited. Uh, that's, that's a lot of noise coming from the other side, Greg. You know, those milk jugs make a lot of uh, racket over there with those pennies and whatever, those rocks in them. So. Uh, I'm sure it's loud over there, and I, I hope our Callaway side uh, matches that excitement and doubles it up, too, Jack, as we get ready to kick off here. Callaway will be kicking the ball off. They'll be going from left to right as you look at your radio or as you look at your computer screen. They're in their black jerseys with the white pants. And onto the field come the folks from St. Pius. They're the Golden Lions. They have the Golden Domes. they got the uh, reminiscent of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. They look a lot like Tech in their gold, uh, gold, white, and black trim, uh, Jack. They, they, their uniforms remind you of Georgia Tech. And we're just about ready to kick this one off. And that's what's about to happen. Step up. There's the kick. High kick in the air. We take it about the 15-yard line, brought up to the 20, to the 25, gets to the outside of the 30. It's going to go out of bounds to the 31, and that's where St. Pius will have it, first and 10. Good coverage by the Cavaliers that time. Number 16, Aaron Clausell in on that tackle. So St. Pius will set, set up their first uh, drive of the night out at their, uh, their own 31-yard line, looks like, Jack. All right, St. Pius will come to the line. Again, we mentioned they run kind of a broken wishbone, and we'll expect to see them run quite a bit tonight. We might even see a five-man front on the part of the Cavaliers tonight. They traditionally run a four. In fact, they're going to walk five, it looks like six men up on the line of scrimmage, so they're expecting it. St. Pius, again, they'll move from right to the left. That broken wishbone, the, the back is to the left. He's going to run down the line, hand it off to the first man. He's going to fight his way. Man, he's a, he's a good running back. Gets across the 35 to the 36-yard line. It'll be second down. That's fullback Dalton Wilson uh, showing those big, powerful legs and, and thighs right there. It didn't look like much, but that's a win for St. Pius as they gain about four yards on first down. And that's their MO, Jack. They, they're uh, they're going to huddle up every time. They're going to look to the sideline. They're going to milk the clock, uh, try to make it a short, gain and, short game. So um, the, the key for the Cavaliers is to keep them behind the chains and uh, create some second and third and longs. St. Pius to give them break the huddle. Two tight ends set. Actually, it's tight end right, wing to the right. They'll have a man split wide to this near side. Quarterback's under center. Turns, hands it off to their running back going around the right side. He has a nice big hole. He, when we were overshoot him and he gets to the 50, going to go down at the 43-yard line. And, man, he is an elusive runner. Yeah, that's number 22 there, Jack. I don't know where the, if you've got their roster with I, you. I don't. Let's see if I can find it here. As they ran a little, uh, a little wing back sweep over there to the right. Uh, Picked up big yards, got the ball all the way across midfield, set up, uh, sets up St. Pius first down and 10 across the 50 at the Callaway 42-yard line. Well, tremendous pursuit by the Cavaliers, kind of over-pursued that, gave that cat, that uh, that kid a chance to kind of cut it back, and he really didn't just cut it, he just kind of just, just curved Me, it back. Yeah, yeah. Great point. Quarterback back under center. The man directly behind him, he's going to do a double wing set this time. Hand off in the line, a lot of confusion there. 
Not a whole lot out of that one. They'll bring up second down right at the 40-yard line. That's that big fullback in there, Wilson. Again, as he hit up the middle of the field, you got uh, getting up off the bottom of the pile, number 14 there, Deion Smith from his defensive end and uh, Bronze Zalea from his linebacker. So better job that time by the Cavaliers on first down. Brings up second down and eight. Number 57 for the uh, Cavalier Cavaliers, I believe, was the first to make the, the initial contact uh, uh, at the line of scrimmage on that. That's Devin Powell, Greg, number 57. He's really come on strong in the second part of this year, that's for sure. They break the huddle, head back to the line of scrimmage. Double wing set this time again. Going to hand it off to 22. And wow. wow, he is eating up that time. A big hit. Boy, great pressure that time by number 20, Lorenzo Patterson from his defensive tackle, and a big Big hit by number 11, Dre Martin. Boy, that was good penetration by Lorenzo Patterson on, from his defensive tackle. Uh, actually, play lost a yard. So this is what the Cavaliers are looking for. Third down and nine. Going to present, uh, uh, puts the uh, put St. Pius in a position where they don't like to be third and long. Jack Pelt looks like that young man's name. Number 22. Right, number 11, Joey Connors. Again, we'll go under center. Full back behind him. His back's offset to this near side. Goes right to the big fullback. He drives down inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. This will be an interesting call here, Jack, for St. Pius. Going to bring up third down at about four or five. I uh, don't know if they're going to punt here. You may see them go for it here and turn the ball over to their defense. Big down here, fourth down and four for the Cavaliers. Let's see if they can get off the field, Jack. Nine yeah. minutes left to go in this first quarter. Go ahead, Greg. No, it, it's, they're, they're going to go for it, no question. They're in four-down territory. It's one of those things, the guy can't kick it that far. Uh, and, and instead of pooch kicking, again, you know, we did that a couple weeks ago, I believe. Uh, Tess did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lined up, ready to go. And Cavaliers need to stay on side here and not jump off sides. Give them an easy first down. Got to got, got watch the adrenaline. I don't know that it would be a first down. If they did, it'd be mighty close. Be awful close. Connor's the quarterback. St. Pius going to call timeout, looks like. If he looks at the sideline, they don't like what they see. So they're going to call a timeout. We take one as well. No score. 8.33 left to go in the first quarter. You're listening to Cowley Cavalier Football on 1240 on Eagle 102.3. It's tough out there, trying to stretch every paycheck a little further than the last one. It means cutting cost, and one of the best places to start is at the office of State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange, because he'll do a free discount double check to make sure you're getting the car insurance discounts you deserve, up to 40%. So give State Farm Agent Matt Orr a call today, because being there to help keep more of your money in your pocket is why he's there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. 8:33 left to go in the first quarter. Play no score in this ball game so far. St. Pius took the ball uh, just past the 25-yard line. Has driven it down right now, but the ball rests on the 36 of Callaway, and it's a fourth down. And guys, looks like it looks like a, a long four. I'm just what I'm looking at. The quarterback is number 11, Connors. He'll go under center. He'll have a wing to the right. Actually, kind of a, 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 a lot of little slot on the outside. He goes in motion. A tall sweep to him. He's going to get to the outside pretty easily. Across the 35 to the 30. Gets the first down, down to the 25-yard line. And they're going to continue to pile up. But he will get the first down yardage, and that's a nice little play. A little, little quick pitch to the left there. St. Pius really executed that well. It got on the corner before the Cavaliers could get there. Picked up a first down all the way down inside the 30. It's going to be marked near the 26-yard line, the Cavaliers. You said that right, Tony. It looks like uh, everybody on the sideline could see that happening. They just didn't adjust defensively. Uh, it, they, were, they were kind of strong left, and they just, the Cavaliers didn't adjust quick enough to, to stop that. So they're doing exactly what we expect them to do, just lining up and running the ball down the field. Ball rests now on the 26-yard line. Quarterback Connors will go back under center. Two tight ends. They'll put a man in motion. Come down the line, hand it off to his full. Actually, pitch it. Ball's on the ground. He wow. picks it right back up and goes out of bounds. <laughs> they might lose a yard on that one. That was scary. That well, that ball's not supposed to bounce right back up to the visitor team. And we're supposed to get a break on that sideline, aren't we, Greg? That was right down there in front of Who's us. The but field? Who does the field? <laughs> I almost hit him on that one, boys. <laughs> but, you know, that's a, you know that's, a, that's a win for the defense. They lost about three yards there. Brings up second down to about 12. And, again, uh, putting St. Pius in, uh, in some uh, position where they don't want to be. Well, I guarantee you, we talked about clock management. These guys are milking this play clock all the way down to about two seconds before they snap it. If you take a look at it, 15 now. He's going to back up and take a rest. He, and, you know, think about it. They've had the ball the entire time. 7.57 was what left on the clock. Puts a man in motion up oh, the far side. Quarterback keeps it. Cuts and said, wow, he is hit hard. Big hit by Bronze Zalea from his middle linebacker position right there. Big hit by number eight. 
Man, that'll light them up. That'll light this crowd up as well. Cavaliers really physical in his first drive. St. Pius has moved it well, but two big hits. That time, Bronze Zolaire from his linebacker position uh, play gained about two yards, but a big hit that time. And, uh, of course, uh, Dre Martin uh, earlier in this drive. So uh, Cavaliers coming out trying to establish some physicality with these guys. Uh, third and nine. They got to keep this heavyweight bout up because, you know, uh, it's probably. Hi, I'm Pei Prather. If you're tired of the large box stores and are looking for fast personal service, come by today in Hamilton, or LaGrange at 136 Commerce Avenue, Holmes Pharmacy, where we take care of you one prescription at a time. For all there together at one store. No longer is it Dairy Queen or Orange Julius, but rather it's Dairy Queen and Orange Julius on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back at St. Pius, who strikes first. The Golden Lions are up 3 to nothing over Callaway with 6.35 in the first quarter. And now they kick the ball off, and my Ooh. goodness gracious, this ball's going to go all the way into the end zone. But they started blowing that whistle before it even got across the line of scrimmage. That, that's a big weapon right there for, uh, for St. Pius. That's number 14, Thomas O'Leary, their kicker. Uh, he had seven kickoffs last week in Cartersville, and every one of them was through the end zone. So uh, the Cavaliers get the ball, but most of it looks like if he continues to kick like that, uh, most of their drives will start on the 20. So it could be worse. could start on the 1. So we'll take it right there, and let's see if the Cavaliers can answer with a score of their own. Well, you don't have to worry about, you know, bobbling the ball, dropping it. You know, you, <laughs> it's just bring it right out from there. Keller's going to split uh, Terry Goblin out wide to this near side. Parks will go under center. He's got Ross are going to be behind him. There's a man in motion from the far side. Backs up. Hands the ball off to the tailback. Culpepper. Culpepper bounces to the outside. Still on his feet. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gets a yard. Brings up second down. Good tackle that time from this free safety spot there. Number four uh, for St. Pius. And, of course, on defense, they're led by uh, number two free safety, Nick Gruffin. Uh, an Auburn commitment here. So, uh, uh, you'll see St. Pius in a, some exotic defenses every now and a lot of people, a lot of moving. So uh, Cavaliers unable to do anything on first down, brings up second down at 10. They break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. High formation once again, it's going to be Rosser in the fullback position. They fake it to Rosser. Parks is going to keep it, gets to the outside to the 25, crosses to Still the 30, on. to the 35, and they go out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. Nice read by Tez Parks. Good job on the option that time as Cavaliers ran the option to the uh, to the near side, to their side, and uh, Tez kept the ball, uh, got on the corner, picked up big yardage, got the ball all the way out to the 38-yard line, first and 10 for the Cavaliers. You guys may not have seen it, but he slipped on the 27, was able to maintain his balance, get up and keep running. Parks reverses out, hands the ball off to Culpepper, following his blocks, goes around the left side. They are keying on Culpepper, that's for sure. Good job that time defensively by uh, St. Pius over there on their, on their right side. The Cavalier left side is St. Pius won the battle at the line of scrimmage that time. Basically held that play to no gain to bring up second down and 10. You know, we talk about size last week, Jack, with the Pierce County Bears. Uh, it's totally opposite tonight from St. Pius. I don't think there's a kid on defense that's, that's bigger than, say, 230. Um, look, at their little nose, look at their nose tackle, Greg, number yeah. five. He's, he's a little scat nose. Once again to the option, Park's going to keep it to the 45. Cuts back to the middle field to the 50. We're going to get a holding call that's going to bring that back, though. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be a hold out here on number four, Terry Godwin. So that'll bring that one back. But good run by Tez Parks as he got all the way across the 50, but it looks like that one's coming back. You know, one of the things that uh, you, you just, you, early in the game, and you sense the, the fans thinking, all right, now we need to hurry up and score, we need to hurry up and score. You know, we don't like being behind. But but one of the things that everybody's got to understand, hey, we're three deep in the playoffs. Uh, there, <laughs> there ain't no, there ain't no, hell, you know, no, no, no easy team. You know, you got to take your time, be patient. If we score, we score. Uh, you know, they got a game plan. Great point, Greg. They're not here just to be tackling dummies. They're here to, St. Pius is here to win this ball game. That's so right. You're, you're right, buddy. There's only uh, eight teams playing in AAA, and, and these two are two of the best left. Well, he's, you know, they're thinking about, the, you know, getting a chance at Buford again, possibly Buford wins tonight, because, you know, they lost last year in the, in the finals. They'd love to hit them in the quarters. So here we go. Parks goes back under center, advanced foot wide left and right. Eye formation reverses out. Actually hands the ball to Rosser. A little quick hitting trap, and they're going to get... Mm, maybe back to the original line of scrimmage, or be close to it. Brings up third down. Yeah, a little quick trap. That's one of their favorite plays. Been really successful for Devon Rosser all year. He's broken a lot of big plays. <laughs> that time, the uh, middle of the St. Pius defense did a good job to hold that. Maybe to a four-yard gain. Brings up third down and 11 with the ball out at the uh, uh, Callaway 42-yard line. I'm sorry, 37-yard line of Callaway. <laughs> so here we go. Going to go the shotgun set this time for Parks. Parks have Culpepper to his right. Takes a snap. Takes the hand up to Rosser. Going to air it out all the way down the field. 
And Godwin is going to be pushed out of bounds. It's going to be intercepted. No pick, though. No. Terry Pelton is in the air. He caught it in the air from the guy that tipped it in the air. It's a we got touchdown. a flag back here, Jack. I'm not sure what that call is. What a great play by Terry Godwin. About a 60-yard bomb down the right side. So let's see what the call is. It's against uh, them. There may be a legal procedure. Oh, call no. Downfield. downfield. My goodness gracious. That's going to come back. We had one of the offensive linemen blocking wow. behind the 40-yard line. Oh, was, my goodness. He was about four yards beyond the line of scrimmage. That, that is a shame because... Uh, a la uh, Auburn in Georgia last week. Terry Godwin took like. the temp and took it on in the end zone. My goodness, what a tough break for the Cavaliers. Although I will say from up here, guys, it looked like Terry Godwin may have been forced out of bounds. Uh, and that's was. why there was no penalty call down here for illegal touching when he came back in. But my goodness gracious, what a tough call against the Cavaliers. Uh, so that backs it up. Backs it up all the way back to the uh, Cavalier 32-yard line. Brings up third down and really about... Looks like about maybe 20. Help me out on the rule here, guys. Uh, is How far does a lineman have to go downfield before he considered illegal? Now, that I'm not sure, Greg. Yeah, I, he, I can't. He, I, he was no more than four yards down the line of, down the line of scrimmage. Is it, well, wow. Whatever it was, it was enough for that official. So, 427 left in the first quarter play. We take a deep breath and get back at it. Man, that was an awesome play. Parks will get go back to the shotgun set. He'll have Rosser to his left. Going to roll. Got a man in his face, going to roll back out, come back to the other side. Throws oh, got a man wide open over here. By himself he can run the all the way, Jack! To the 50, to the 45, 40. Still in his feet to the 35, finding his way across the other side of the field to the 30. Down to the 25-yard line, huge for third down play. What a great job by the Cavaliers. No flags on the field. First down for the Cavaliers. Tess Parks, by time with his legs, found Devon Rosser wide open over here in the right flat. Big gain all the way down to the St. Pius 25-yard line. Hey, you know, Devon Ross just sitting there waiting, 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 and everybody's pursuing Tez. That shows you what kind of a weapon he is. He turns over and throws it to Ross, and the rest is done. So Rosser looked great on that play. Now Parks going back up to hand the ball to Culpepper, who bounces to the outside. Man, looks like they had him in the backfield, but he's going to pick up five, maybe six yards on that play. Still hadn't got him down. Good nope. job, good job by Eddie Culpepper right there. He's he's done a good jacket. Uh, Greg, as you had mentioned last week, uh, uh, a game against Pierce, Eddie came in and just really been running like a man possessed. And on that time, he picked up five yards when it didn't look like he had anything. But no matter what happens on this drive, a, a great response by the Cavaliers. Got a tough call down here, but were able to respond and get a first down. And they have flipped field position. Didn't drop their heads. They just kept on going. I like that a lot. Down to the 20 yard line is where they are now with a second down. And the Cavaliers are going to jump off sides. Yeah, a little movement over here on the right side. That's uh, that's our big right tackle over there, uh, number 56 for the Cavaliers. Got a little anxious. Uh, that's uh, Courtney Lay, and uh, Courtney's done a good job for us. Got a little excited that time, a little adrenaline flowing. So that's going to back him up five yards and bring up about uh, second down and 10 again. <laughs> Man, the, the folks just keep piling in here. I'm looking on the Cavalier side, and we're about 90% full. What a wonderful crowd tonight. And, and, and they're even on the St. Pius side, 40% uh, full. It's a great uh, great crowd for a, for a state playoff game. Exactly right, Craig. Now back to the eye formation for Parks. He's supposed to be wide out. That's P.D. Leverett to this near side. Going to come down the line. Going to pitch it. No, fake the pitch. Keep it. And going to be brought down at the 24-yard line. Third down. That's a good job that time by St. Pius on the defensive side. They they strung that play out as Tess Parks tried to run the option to the right over here on the home side and really had nowhere to go, simply kept the ball instead of uh, instead of risking a pitch there and turned it up. Brings up a big third down and nine with the ball in, just inside the 25-yard line at the 24 of St. Pius. You can also see, almost see the decision-making process going on in his mind. Do I pitch it? Do I pitch it? No, I'm on, it's too, too many folks around here. Let me just take what I can get right here. Oh, he made an excellent decision on that play. You're exactly right. Here comes Parks again, back under center. Reverses out. Hands the ball to Culpepper. He's going to go to the outside. Picks up the first and more down inside the 15-yard line. That's a big run by Eddie Culpepper. Good block on that outside by number 10, Keyshawn Freeman from his tight end. I don't see any flags, and I believe that's going to be a first down he'll, for the Cavaliers. He'll pick it up by a yard. Good job on third down on the left side over there by big Harley Tabor from his left tackle, number 57, Devin Powell uh, from his left guard, and uh, big Josh Williams at center there, number 53. So big first down. New set of downs for the Cavaliers. Coach Napier gives the plate to Parks on the sideline. Parks runs it in. They break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be Godwin off to the, near, excuse me, to the far side. Parks will go under center, eye formation behind him. Culpepper's going to get the call. Bounces to, to the outside, cuts back across the field, spins. Gets down 
He's going to pick up about two, maybe three yards there, Greg. Looks like it's down to about the, what, 12? He's down at the 13, actually 12 and a half yard line. I'm telling you, what an excellent individual effort by Culpepper at that time. He was strung out. He, he did a really a reverse twist to pick up two yards. Otherwise, it would have been no game. Perhaps maybe he might have lost a half yard. Nick Ruffin from his safety position, that they're really forcing the run. So I'm sure the uh, coaches up here in the booth will see that safety coming real down in the box. We may see him uh, maybe try to go over the top here for a big touchdown. Got the weapons. We could do it. They reverse. Change back to a shotgun set. Rosser will roll over to the right side, and there'll be a penalty call on the far side. We got illegal motion against the Cavaliers. Looks like uh, maybe a, the center might have flinched with his snap before the snap there, so that's going to back the Cavaliers up. A couple of, couple of uh, uh, penalties here in this drive that have set the Cavaliers back. Let's see if they can overcome them now. But second down at about 13 balls all the way back to the 18-yard uh, line. Minute 21 left to go in this first quarter of play. 3 nothings your score. St. Pius leading right now. Cavaliers break the huddle. Looking at third and 14 now. And they can get a first down down around the five. Jack. Yep. Parks will take it. He loses the ball. Picks it up. Rolls to his left. He's got a, a, a seam down the middle. That's where he beat you, Jack. Five. Touchdown, Kelly Cavaliers. What a great play that time by Tess Parks. He simply came up. He, made a, he took a broken play and scored a big touchdown for the Cavaliers. Parks right lost the ball. This, Go ahead, Greg. Right, right into this corner. Man, I thought he was going to run over me. Just, I mean, he just blitzed away. Good job by Terry Goblin on the back side over here, recognizing that he needed to create a wall for him and stood up and did a nice block on about the two-yard line to get Godwin, I mean, to get uh, Parks in the end zone. Big extra point here for the Cavaliers out of Terry Godwin's hold. Snap, hold, kick is up. And that kick is good. 7-3 is your score. With 57 seconds left to go to the first score play, you're listening to Cali Cavalier Football on Hot 96.9, 1240, and on Eagle. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch, on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or, when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch, on the web at joelupchurch.com. And online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back. A lot of times when I'm in the booth, I have a notebook and I kind of take my notes. And usually I'm on the second page by now with the, with the drives. But right now, uh, each team has had one possession. They both got scores out of them. So not, not a lot of uh, extra stuff happening now. So the Cowboys going to kick the ball off. Short kick. And they'll be uh, whistled dead. I believe the Cavaliers are offside on that kick right there. A little uh, Ed Daniel there. I'm sorry, number 21 there for the Cavaliers. Uh, R.J. Williams, a little bit too anxious, got ahead of the kick there. So that's going to back them up five yards. Fourth penalty so far against the Cavaliers. No penalties against St. Pius tonight. Well, St. Pius comes in as a very disciplined team. They don't beat themselves, Jack. They, no. don't, they don't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, really don't turn the ball over a lot. So... Um, you know, the Cavaliers are going to have to, uh, and, and you know, it's early, still in the first quarter, some adrenaline still flowing. The Cavaliers are settling into the flow of this game, so need to get good coverage here on this kick. So you expect uh, uh, St. Pius to really come out of this with good field position. Kelly ready to kick the ball off again. It's going to be Hunter Millen kicking the ball off. Hunter stands back at the 25, begins to make his way up from there. And there's the kick, a better kick, actually, than they had the first time, taken at the 20-yard line. By Pelt, Pelt to the 30, gets across at his wall to the 40-yard line. Nice return. It'll be first and 10 there for St. Pius. Good tackle there by number 18, J.T. Wortham. A good return for St. Pius. They get the ball out across the 40. Ball's going to be marked on the 41. So, uh, again, good field position. So let's see if the uh, Cavalier defense can take some of this momentum, get a three and out, and get that football back for the offense. Quick first quarter, Jack. 50 seconds to go in the yeah. first quarter. But, you know, the thing about this, too, the Cavaliers had a 80-yard uh, a, a drive just a minute ago to get that touchdown. They took a lot of time off the clock themselves. So good job by the Cavalier offense. Allow that defense to rest a little bit, Exactly. Jack. Great point. Double wing set. They'll have a man. Not so really split wide. Split about where you usually have a slot man standing. They go to the right side, hand the ball off to the tailback. It's going to be, wow, he slips three tacklers in the backfield, gets to the 45-yard line, really should have had him back at the 39. Yeah, we had a chance to drop that play in the backfield. Justice Perkins just missed a tackle back there, and as a result, the play gets out for about uh, five, six yards on first down, and that's exactly what uh, St. Pius wants on first down. That's Pelt, Jack Pelt, number 22, the ball carrier. And he is a tough runner. 27 seconds, clock ticks down. 7-3, Callaway leading right now. 
in the third round of the Georgia High School playoffs at the AAA level. They break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. Double wing set this time again, the, the long back in the backfield. Connors, the quarterback, will go under center. Steps up, puts a man in motion, takes the snap, hands the ball off to the fullback right in the line. He's going to get about two, maybe three yards. Brings up third down and two. Good job that time by the Cavaliers as we come to the end of the first quarter, Jack. All right. 7-3 is your score as we go to the second quarter of play on 96-9, 12-40 and Eagle, 102-3. Sometimes the path of life... Wait, what about things with creamy, smooth, DQ soft serve in them? Like waffle bowl sundaes, peanut buster parfaits, and banana splits. They're all amazingly delicious, too. So let me rephrase that. There's nothing as delicious as creamy smooth DQ soft serve, except for things with creamy smooth DQ soft serve in them. It's called the truth. Trust me. DQ treats so good, it's ridiculous. And radiation therapies. Our multi-specialty team of physicians meets weekly to review individual cases and determine the most effective treatment options for those patients. At West Georgia Health, we've put all our services together for you so you can focus on one thing, fighting cancer. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. To learn more, visit WGHealth.org. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. It doesn't take a lot to move the ball around when it's resting on the 49. They just walk it across the 50, and now here we go. St. Pius now moving left to right as they've reversed the field on each other. Third down about three. Big third down here for the Cavaliers, Jack. Let's see if I can get off the field. Pius, the quarterback, goes under center. Double wing set. Puts a man in motion. Goes down the line. A little problem with the exchange. The quarterback keeps it. He does not Jack, get the first he's down. short. He didn't even make it to the 50-yard line. There's no gain on that play. So let's see what the uh, Golden Lions decide to do here at midfield. Uh, do, they challenge, do they challenge the Cavalier defense, or do they punt the ball away? As dangerous as the Cavaliers, I, do, I would not want to get them uh, 50 yards. I'm thinking you better punt that ball. I don't know that they got a kicker. You can kick it 60 yards, do you? Can they put it on the tee? Well, it's fourth fourth down about two. Looks like they're going to go for it. Again, you got to watch for the quick count here, maybe yeah. trying to draw the Cavaliers offside. But uh, uh, St. Pius has a lot of confidence in their offense, their offensive line. So big fourth and two now. Ball rests on the 50. Here's the wishbone. They try to bring us off. And good discipline by the Cavaliers. They didn't tell the St. Pius calls timeout. Great job that time by the coaching staff. But, Coach Hubbard had those guys ready for that. Yep, they take a timeout. We take one as well. We're all trying to connect to a healthier way of life. That's why West Georgia Health has expanded to bring top-ranked medical expertise and specialized services closer to home. From the most advanced technologies to a strong vision for the future, we're connecting together. So healthy together. For one very good reason, your health. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. You need to have your teeth brushed at least twice a day and have your teeth cleaned and looked at twice a year by a dentist. We have heard this since we've been kids, but sometimes life can get busy and we forget to brush and skip an appointment and we turn around and it's been a while since we've been to the dentist, so let's get back on track. Call Dr. Childress for an appointment today at 706-882-1888 or on the web at drchildress.com because your smile is very important and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress next to the post office in Calumet Center in LaGrange. So we'll go under center. He's got a straight T behind him. Takes his time. Watching the play clock tick down. That's not really helping him because the clock on the board hadn't hit and started. They hand the ball off into the line. And they're going to get the first down. Yeah, big fullback's going to go over the right side there. and uh, Going to pick up about four yards. He only needed about uh, two, but a good job by the St. Pius uh, right side of their offensive line. Again, the Cavaliers did a good job, held him to three yards, but uh, he only needed two for a first down. Your guys early in their, their first possession, they had a couple of uh, situations like this. They were able to pick up and convert those first downs. Big 230-pound fullback can get you get you two yards yeah, just about any time. Yep. He sure can. So first and ten, ball rests now on the 46-yard line. Quarterback Connors with a double wing set, a single back in the backfield for him. Checks his line, puts a man in motion from the far side. 
We have a nice stunt wow. that's going to stop him at the line of scrimmage. Keyshawn Freeman with a big hit from his linebacker position that time on the fullback. He had nowhere to go, and that play gained nothing at all. Jack. J JT Wortham also in there with a big hit from this near side. Comes across. I think we were kind of playing gap right there and stepped down the line, and really there was no place for them to go. Well, the Cavaliers have watched film on St. Pius, and they understand that everything on their offense begins with their fullback. Uh, that's uh, Dalton Wilson. So uh, the Cavaliers are trying to take that away from him. So far, so good here in the ball game. He's had a, a little success, but uh, they've kept him in check so far. Back to the same formation they've had pretty much the whole ball game. They're going to offset the back of the backfield, put a man in motion, and I think they got double motion. That should be a flag. Yeah, no, a timeout. Again, that's three timeouts, I think. Isn't that, isn't that their third timeout? Well, that's their last one, so... Wow. We, we in this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Call the Mallory Agency today or check them out on Facebook or on the web at MalloryAgency.com. NFL action, the Brickhouse Grill, Broom Street in downtown LaGrange. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. All right, second down and nine for St. Pius. Callaway with a five-man front, actually kind of six-man with the outside linebackers walking up his ends. <laughs> Connors goes back under center, puts a man in motion from the far side, hands it off to him. He'll try to get to the outside. He'll do a great job of wow. stringing him out there. And great then, job by the Cavaliers that time. Number two, uh, Ed Daniel from his free safety. Number 11, Dre Martin from his defensive end. Really strung that play out for no gain, Jack. There's nowhere for Pelt to go. He was stretched out all the way. In fact, he gets just back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And almost a block in the back there, about the, the 40 yard line. I thought they were going to call that. Maybe a hole it. too, Jack, mm -hmm. as, as, as we get down to 10 minutes here to go into the uh, end. Big third down in about nine and a half here for uh, St. Pius. They're not real comfortable in this position. So let's see if the Cavaliers maybe bring some pressure or drop back and cover uh, and see if they can uh, uh, hold them here. And one of the points you made in the pregame, Greg, I mean, uh, Tony, was that you know third down and long was going to be a big play for us. They put a man in motion from the far side. Quarterback on back up to pass. Rolls to the near side. Steps up. He's at the line of scrimmage. He makes the pass complete. We pick it up. Terry Coleman took it out of his hands at the 50. 45. Still his feet at the 40. Ball's down loose. They pick it up. Oh, my goodness. What a, great, what a great play on both ends that time, though, Jack. Interception by the oh Cavaliers. And then Terry fumbled it down here on the 35. But, wow, what a great play by both. It's going to be hard to describe that one, Jack. We'll see what we got here. Let's see. And well, the clock's still running. And somebody needs to stop the clock. Well, they talk about this. Jack tried. We had a great interception down here by Terry Goblin on the 30 as Terry came back upfield, got to the 35. St. Pius was able to rip it out of his hands. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here, Jack. The officials are huddling together. It was, it was to see. popped up again, and they caught it back at the 34. So whose ball is it? Is the big question. Now they finally stopped the clock after about a minute and a half has run off. 7-3 again is the score. Literally 25 seconds when I looked up. Callaway's leading it. As, as Tony was describing, Terry Goblin just rips the ball out of the hands of the Simply receiver. took it away from him. He sure, what a great play. He turns around, runs the ball, gets across the 50 to the 45 to the 40. They come behind him, pop the ball out of his hands. It lands in the hands of a St. Pius player at the 30, who's immediately tackled. But the question now is, who's got possession of the well, ball? I wonder what the, the discussion is. Obviously, a fumble by God went in St. Pius I, fell back on it. I, so I, that's I the way I look at I it. I don't know what the discussion is, unless maybe Terry stepped out of bounds. There's a flag down right here, Jack, that I didn't I see, see on at the, the 40. 45. So yeah. let's, let's see what we got there. Well, it could have been a block in the back. It could have been clipped after the uh, interception because that call. was after the interception. This is a big call right here, guys. If big, it's after big, the interception, then it's Callaway's ball. Right, just back them up, uh, lose a little field position. But let's, let's see what they come up, with, come up with right here. The referee's nodding. So they, they're coming up with some. They're, they're huddling up now. you got to give them a hand. Well, you know, the main thing is you want to get this right. You know, you, you need me to go out there and look. Go out, go out there and fix it, Greg. If you, uh, if, I don't if think you so. Can. Well, you know, you want, them to, you want them to get it right. So let's see what we got here. Illegal forward pass. So, it, the, quarterback, the, so the, the quarterback was across the line of scrimmage. He was. Through it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So that will still be but that will negate the ball. It will be fourth, fourth down, down for them. Right. That's that will right. negate the interception. That's right. All right. So that is actually a good call because I was watching. I thought he stepped over the 45, which was where the line of scrimmage was. 
but I wasn't going to say anything hoping that we would get the, the ball. So is it not review? So it's, can the Cavaliers decline that since it was a pick? Evidently uh, not, right? It's not. Evidently not. It's not a dead ball foul, though. About 22 seconds came off the clock, too. So uh, Greg, Greg's giving a little help down there on the sideline. <laughs> Trying to help Ronnie out here. Tell him it's 22 seconds came off the clock. Let's see if we can negotiate to get him back on. All right, so fourth down now. Well, Jack, as long as we st uh, Greg, we stay ahead, we want that clock running. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. What, what do you think, buddy? I, I'm, I'm with you, baby. <laughs> Yeah, with our luck, we'll need those 25 seconds at the end. All right, Cavaliers got to take a time out that, here. That was a legitimate call, though. I think you're right, Greg. I don't. I don't. I think that was. I think they were all over that one. I can't. I can't give them too much grief on all that right, one. Kelly calls a timeout. Let's sort this out. We come back. We'll try to explain it. On auto with State Farm, saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay. Does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto, and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Matt Orr in LaGrange today. Find at MalloryAgency.com. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we think St. Pius is about to punt the ball from the, about the 49-yard line. And don't hold your breath. <laughs> exactly. And Terry Godwin's back there, and, and Tony's just saying, if if they let the kid kick the ball to Terry Godwin and don't just try to pooch it out of bounds, they're crazy. Because Terry Godwin right Unless now. Unless he kicks this over by the auditorium, there's he's no had a, way Terry's he's had a, going to get his hand a touchdown call back. He just had an interception that was uh, negated. Now, what else is this young man going to do? He kicks the ball. Oh, it's shanked, too. That's going to go out. Of, oh, boy, the Cavaliers are going to get great field position here. They are. So the ball goes out of bounds. They go. He's still walking up. He's going to be 35. about the... About to 35, 36. Nope. Great, great field position that time. For wow, I'd give him another 10, to be honest with you. Great job by the Cavalier defense, Greg. You can see it from, from down there. They really starting to play with some confidence. Feel like they can stop these guys, and uh, you know the Cavaliers with nine twenty-three to go here in the second quarter. We can go down and put some more points on them. We could really put some pressure on them right before halftime. You, you know their biggest challenge, Tony and Jack, is is uh, is it they're just not they're not St. Pius is deliberate in their motions, and mm -hmm. the Callaway defense wants to get up and stroke them so bad. NASCAR, that's what they wanted. You're right, Greg. Great point. So here we go. We'll roll a man off to this near side. That's the, with the tight end to the near side. Parks are going to center. Keep it. Oh, he's on the corner. Turns the corner. He could go at the 50, 45, and then he makes the pitch to oh, the 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, he's got a the five. What a play by Tess Parks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You can't coach against that, Jack. You cannot coach against that. That was unbelievable. Individual play by Tess Park. Have you seen the St. Pius coaches over there just shaking their head? I mean, they they dropped you, their clipboards. They faked them off so What bad. can you do? Woo! Tess Park's wide open on the right side as they run that option. He found Petey Leverett probably 40 yards down the field. Continued to play. Great job by Petey Leverett all the way down to the five-yard line. First and goal for the Cavaliers with 9-11 to go in the second quarter. Wow. <laughs> what a heck of a fake on that one. So it was not, me, not a touchdown. I thought it was a touchdown. Five yards. They got him out of bounds at the five. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get the touchdown on the board. Parks under center. Hands up. He'll keep the ball. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Gets down to the three, looks like, Greg. I don't know. They're going to give him the, maybe the four and a half. They give him a half a yard gain. So he's second down and still go from the four and a half. Tried to run that option again over there to the right side. Looks like Rosser could have had some room over right tackle, but a good job that time by uh, the St. Pius defense. And, and, Greg, as you mentioned, uh, there's eight teams left, and one of them is St. Pius, and they're here to win this game too. So they're not going to just roll over and let the Cavaliers score here without an effort. So it's second down and goal here for the Cavaliers. You know, we certainly are proud of Callaway all this year, but, you, you know, you look at the St. Pius bunch, they're not big at all, but they show sure are. They're well coached, play good technique, Very and, and they're not going away. No, they're not. Park step up, steps up to the line. Takes a snap, tosses it to Pulpepper. Pulpepper cuts back to the middle, goes towards the end zone. Did he get in? He got in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers. Wow, great job by Eddie Culpepper. Hey. Boy, he put that head down, and he smelled that goal line and got across there. Good job on the left side by the Cavaliers. As the Cavaliers go up by a score of 13-3, to extra point to follow, 8.24 to go here in the second quarter. And let me tell you something. When Culpepper turned it upfield, man, he got nailed on about the one. It sounded like a firecracker going off. That's a stout 165. And he went in. He's a stout 165, though, Greg. I'm going to tell Woo. you, he's a tough runner. Yeah, he, he showed it that time. 
Cowley sets his 10th point after touchdown snap. Hold, kick is up, and the kick is good. 14-3 wow. with 8.24 left to go in the first half of play. You're listening to Cowley Cowley Football on 96.9, 12.40 and Eagle, 102.3. Blues season is upon us. CB&T, with us, you're closer to what's important to you. Closer to home with three branches in LaGrange. Closer to your money with mobile and internet banking and six local ATMs. Plus, you can use any Synovus or Publix Presto ATM in the southeast. Closer to people who care about you. Local people who make local decisions. We're CB&T. How can we serve you today? CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Some restrictions apply to mobile banking. Cavalier football. Welcome back as you get the unbiased Callaway, pure Callaway side of things right here up in the booth on 96 9, 1240 and Eagle 1023. If I don't calm down, I'm going to knock a wall down. <laughs> Good job by the Cavaliers, though, to go up 14 to 3. But uh, as you mentioned, St. Pius is not going away. So Cavaliers got to continue to play. Good kickoff by Milliman. Great kick all the way down to the 5, brought up to the 10, 15, cut back at the 20, 25. And he's going to be upended there at the 27-yard line. Good coverage that time by number 16 again, Aaron Clausell on the kickoff coverage team. Didn't quite get out to the 30, but out to about the 28, 29-yard line. Returned there by number two, Nick Ruffin. Hey, you know, Keyshawn Freeman is coming flying down the field. He's first one right between the hash marks. First one to make contact down here, but they're doubling up, tripling up on him because we saw what he did last week, Jack. Seemed like every play, every kickoff, he was he was first one to make the tackle. You're exactly right. So from the 28-yard line goes St. Pius with 8:17 left to go in the first half. And again, guys, they're not going away. They're going to try to turn yards and maybe hold the ball all the way to the halftime mark as they're going to pitch the ball to the far side and they're trying to make a juke inside we got to grab him. He's going to lose yardage back at the 22-yard line. Great job that time by number 11 again, Dre Martin, as he played that well. And Lorenzo Patterson from his defensive tackle, number 20, trailed the play and threw him from a big loss. Sets up about second down and 15, Jack, all the way back to the uh, St. Pius 23-yard line. Hey, Martin held on to him with his right hand, was not going to let him go. Took time to get the other Cavaliers there to come in and, and actually uh, about a five, six-yard loss, guys. He had a vice lock grip on him, that's for sure. They're taking their time, bringing the ball, the play in. They have no more timeouts left either. 12 seconds, 11 on the play clock. They break the huddle, make the wall back to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback, back under center. Double split, double wing. Delay a man game. in motion, that's a lay of game penalty. They're going to back them up five more. <laughs> well, they sure they couldn't call timeout because I don't think they have they any don't. left, Jack. So, and you know what, guys? Uh, if they continue to milk that clock, Greg, it, down 14 to three, they're going to have to really be uh, well, be careful getting it close down like that. Hey, Tony, uh, they're, they're, this is out of character for St. Pius. They're not used to a hurry up offense. They don't know how to come up to the line of scrimmage and and, and cadence and get it on out of there. Well, so, you're exactly right. I mean, they, they call the play from the sideline. I mean, Greg, he I can see the play. He can see the play clock. He just didn't call. He just didn't snap it. They oh come, well. We come back to the line of scrimmage. Down to seven now. Quarterback under center. Makes the snap. Going to hand the ball off to his tailback. He's going to get across the mm. 30. Mm. Excuse me, 20 down to the 30. And he's Pelt. got speed. He's going to go out of bounds over there at the 45-yard line. Big run that time by, by Pelt and uh, number seven uh, for the Cavaliers over there on a touchdown saving tackle. Jet Snelling's all the way from this other side. So uh, a big run by the uh, St. Pius Golden Lions that time as they get, uh, get a little breathing room out to the 45-yard line. 14-3 is your score. Callaway leading right now. And here we go. Clock stop with 6.57 to go here until halftime. So... Uh, Big six minutes here for the Cavaliers. If they can hold them here, the Cavaliers get the ball and start the second half. So uh, uh, St. Pius is going to try to grind out six minutes and put some points on the board. Yeah, I'm all for holding them, and let's go ahead and just no get some points. No doubt. They run the, to the fullback this time. Who Actually, his own player is trying to pull to the right and knocks him down. Good job by the uh, left side of the Cavalier defensive line that time. Number 52, Justice Perkins. Number 19, Nooney Anderson held that play to about a two-yard gain. Brings up second down at about eight. Justin is a fire plug in that middle. And he's actually, I think, he kind of blocked the the, defense, the the guy on the offense down into that hole right where the running back was wanting to be. Well, as we talk about Justin, we fondly call him a space eater. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to roll out to the left side to pass the ball. And it's going to be 
in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. Great pressure by number 16 over that Aaron Clausell. And again, second down and about eight here, and you, you had the uh, quarterback rolling left, and that's just not something that St. Pius is comfortable doing, and that's throwing the football. Hey, and not only that, Tony, you make a good point. 16 comes in, Corsell, and jumps up, and he doesn't deflect it, but the receiver, he messes his line of vision up, and he's also trying to catch it going backwards. So uh, that was that was big-time pressure there. We say it every year, uh, Greg. A lot of pressure is a, is a defensive back's best friend. You ain't, you ain't kidding there. So once more, they're back to the line of scrimmage. Long snap count. And they're just going to go right up in the middle to the 50. Back to the 49 on the other side. What you say they're going to uh, go for it on fourth and six? You know, Greg, I, I, I think you're probably right. I fourth mean, and five, they, actually. They don't want to give the ball back to the Cavaliers here with six minutes to go. And This they, isn't uh, fourth and two this time. Yeah, though. this is fourth I mean, and five here, so let's, uh, let's see what they come up with. But they're definitely going for it. They're in the huddle. 5.56, clock continues to tick. 14-3 is your score. They've had a lot of success on the corners, guys. With the quick pitch, Greg, you're right. That you may see that sweep to the left. Uh, they're left like they had success with a couple of plays ago. If they don't hurry up, they're not even going to get the playoff. Six, five, quarterback just now goes under center. Makes a the snap. There it Ends is. Up. They're going to try to go to the outside. There it is. And we're going to tackle him. Oh, Short good the first down. Cavalier defense. What a play over there by number 14, Deion Smith and Bronze Zalea. So the Cavaliers turn it over on downs. And great field position for the Cavaliers. That is the ball will rest at the 48-yard line. And the Cavaliers will be sitting pretty with 5.33 left to go in this first half, and they can put more points on the board. And don't you, be surprised if they don't do a go-rat on this, on this play oh, right oh, here with a big just, momentum going. And you know, guys, with five minutes to go here until halftime, if the Cavaliers can uh, get a drive here and get any kind of points at all and then get the ball in the first half, the, get the ball first in the second half, oh. big five minutes here, right here. It really is. Petey Leverett will slip wide to this near side. Goblin to the top end. Going to roll the tight end back to this near side. Eye formation behind the quarterback. Parks backs up, hands it to Culpepper. Got two guys in front of him blocking for him. He breaks the hole, gets to the 45, to the 40, cuts back across the middle field. Big hit at the 35-yard line, and he's going to get down to the 33. Good wow. Vision. What a great job by Eddie Culpepper. Good block over here by number five, Petey Leverett. Might have got away with a hold or a block in the back, but nonetheless, if the flag didn't go down, it's not a penalty. And Eddie Culpepper, boy, he put that head down again, Greg, and delivered that 165 pounds for a first down, didn't he? I tell you what, another firecracker going off down here. Boy. I was just talking to Coach Hayes. It, 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 man, I'm sitting here on the sidelines looking like if he had just broken outside. Wow. But he chose to go back inside. I think, I think Eddie's looking for somebody to hit. He does it a lot. He'll cut back to that inside and take a lick. But he doesn't need to. <laughs> Parks. Back to pass. Sets up in the back. He's going to throw to the end zone. Into double coverage. Golly, I might be intercepted I out there. I believe it, it is. It is. Uh, they're going to intercepted say by Nick Ruffin back there. Boy, they took a shot downfield, threw into double coverage, and uh, that's a big play for St. Pius right there. Intercepted by Nick Ruffin. Well, you, you're throwing into double coverage, and the rule of thumb is if you're going to throw it in double coverage, do not get it intercepted. You better overthrow him. He overthrew him, but he caught it with about a foot step on the back line. And, and Greg, you see you see Ruffin going off the field, favoring, oh, his, favoring his right shoulder. That's Let's right. keep an eye on that right there, okay? Doggone it. Well, uh, a net effect that back the, uh, the golden lines back up to the 20-yard line. So in, in the interception, Parks throws a, throws a again, deep ball that's gets intercepted. They'll go back to the, a split backfield for the quarterback. we will back up and hand the ball off to his fullback. So he'll get to the 25-yard line, second down. And you know, the, that time they hand off to the fullback, back to their basic bed, bread and butter play, picked up about four yards. Again, not a lot of sense of urgency from St. Pius. Uh, they're going to huddle up every time. They're going to get to play from the sideline. They're going to milk that clock. But that brings up second down and five now, which is, the, uh, uh, which is where St. Pius wants to be. 4.30 to go till halftime, Jack. Leading 14-3 right now. Cavaliers up. St. Pius looks back to the sideline. Quarterback going to put a man in motion back to this near side. Hands the ball off to the fullback who's going to get wrapped up. Actually, second effort gets him up to near the 30. He's going to get across the 30 for the first down. He's up at the 28. That's a tough kid right there. The way he did. Not real good tackling that time by the Cavaliers, but number, number 42, Dalton Wilson from the fullback position. We mentioned a big 230, 235 pounds, and he's, he's hard to bring down. You've got to put a couple of hats on him. So third down and short here for St. Pius, less than a yard. 3.58 left to go. 14-3 again is your score. Callaway leading. Eddie Culpepper sitting on the bench over here watching. Wants to get back on the field for sure. They put a man in motion. Going with a little bit of an option. Quarterback going to keep it. Lose yardage. 
Still Actually, no, feet. second effort, he'll get across the 35. I thought they had him behind the 30. He cut back to the near side of the field, back in the middle. Good run that time by their quarterback, number, number 11, Joey Connors. He kept the ball and got out about to the uh, about to the 35-yard line, a little bit across. So with 3.40 to go here, that's a first down for St. Pius as they wind the clock. 3.40 to go to halftime. You score Callaway 14, St. Pius 3. They break the huddle. Ball again resting right over the 35-yard line. They get over the... 45 for a first down. Taking his time is the quarterback, Wilson. Puts a man in motion. Hands off to the fullback. We stack him up big time right there. He gets down to the about a two-yard gain, guys. And he's still able to fall forward for about well, two or three yards. But hey, uh, he did that because the Cavaliers hit him from the back and pushed him it, forward. Yeah, and, and again, that clock continues to run. St. Pius, uh, they've been here before, not, not, not panicking. Three minutes to go until halftime. Looking to try to score some points here before halftime. So... Uh, let's see what we can do here. The Cavaliers need to uh, make a stand. Second down to about eight with the ball out on about the 37-yard line. Devin Powell rolls in from the sideline to kind of plug up that middle. Second down and seven. Man in motion from the far side. Quarterback going to back up to pass. He's going to throw it uh, mm. to him out of the flat. It's, it's uh, going to be hitting and just nailed by Godwin right there. Stays in bounds, too. And he but, does make the I catch. You, that, the that, that's a big hit over here on the sideline, but a great catch by number 22 over there, Pelt. His boy, he took a shot, but he held on. He's back up on his feet now, but he's going to have to take a break. Yeah, he Big hit by Terry Gowan that time from his uh, uh, from his defensive back position. But uh, first down that time for uh, right out to midfield. First down for St. Pius with 2.38 to go till halftime. He waved at the sideline and said, Coach, uh, put somebody in here for me. I'm going to try to make it over there on my own power, but he's already taken his helmet off on the far side. Wow, Gowan just put a big old shoulder into him. Tough kid, though. He held on to the ball. And uh, wind the, this, I'm not sure why the clock's not running. Well, he, he had wound it up at the end of the play. He's winding it now. It's still, it's still it's, uh, not moving. That just starts. They're going to just ignore that, I guess. You go back to the left side, and it's going to be number two for St. Pius running the ball. It gets down to the 45-yard line. That's Nick Ruffin. From, got him in at tailback now as the clock continues to run to 223 now. Uh, brings up about second down at about five for St. Pius. Ball just across the Callaway 45 to about the 45, 44 and a half yard line. So once again, they're in Callaway territory. They break the huddle back to the line of scrimmage. Here they come. Man split wide to this near side. Again, it's a misnomer to say split wide. It's only about 10 feet. He's outside the tackle. And now a timeout call on the field, called by the Cavaliers. They take a timeout. We take one as well. 60 seconds back to the station. A minute 59 left to go. In the Where can you be encouraged to make your own discoveries? Where can you be challenged to achieve the impossible by professors who know you by name? Our graduates have earned Emmy and Grammy nominations, successfully negotiated major business deals, and been inspired to teach and serve where they're needed most. We experience a transforming education at LaGrange College, one of the South's most affordable, highly ranked institutions. Learn more at lagrange.edu slash transform. Visit and you'll see why. lagrange.edu slash journey. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-1702. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back as Wilson, the quarterback, is going to roll out to his left and just kind of not really a pass, just kind of a shovel across up to the 40. They're going to get a first down across the 40 down to the 38-yard line. Good enough for a first down. Good job that time by St. Pius. They get the ball down to the uh, to the Callaway 38-yard line. Sets up a first and 10 with the clock down to 151 to go till halftime. I'm all for stopping them. How about that? Minute 51 again, as Tony mentioned, left to go. And they have no timeouts either, so they nope. have to work those sidelines. 14, 13, the play, the play clock continues to tick down. He steps back, watches the play clock again. Now he'll step up. Wilson will put a man in motion. Go back to the fullback. Actually, fake it to the fullback. He'll pitch the ball, and they're going to get a first down there across the 30 to the, about the 28-yard line. 
Well, what they've, what they've done on this drive, Jack, they've established the fullback, and they're faking in there to him, and the Cavaliers are, are going for him, and they're able to get on the corner and run that option. That's two plays in a row. Now they're down inside the Cavalier 30 with a minute 44 to go to halftime. And the last thing you want to do is give up that fullback, so you've got to stick his linebacker right. on him every play. Every play. Wilson getting back to the line of scrimmage. Checks the play clock, takes his time. Gets back under center. Man motion from the far side. They have a little trap play, very similar to what we do with Rosser. Goes back to the inside, gets to the 25-yard line. It's a game of about three, second and seven. Good job that time by the middle of the Callaway defensive line. The clock continues to run now, down to about 1.30 to go till halftime. They held that play to about a two-yard gain. So it's going to bring up uh, second down and about seven or eight here. Jack Ball's marked inside the 25-yard line at the Callaway 24. They definitely don't have a two-minute offense as they're just taking their time back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and about seven. Back under center is the quarterback with a single back behind him. Man in motion, hands off to the tailback coming from the wing back, coming from the far side. He'll be tackled after a gain of maybe maybe none, Greg. Yeah, he slipped and fell that time. Down. And it looks like now with, with the clock going to be under a minute, third down and about seven here, there's no way for them to stop the clock. So if the Cavaliers are going to have to look for a pass here or something near the sidelines yep. uh, to try to stop that clock and at least give their field goal, uh, team an opportunity to get on the field. This is the most hurried they've been all night. And they're really not in their element at all when they're in a hurry. They go to the pistol set now. And they're going, they don't like that because they... It's a timeout called? Yep, we Coach. called a timeout right before the ball was snapped. So, Cowley takes a timeout with 38 seconds left to go. We take one as well. 30 seconds back to the station. 14-3. Cowley's leading on 96-9-12-40 and Eagle 1023. As a business owner, nothing compares to the sense of pride you feel when unlocking your business first thing in the morning. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if the business down the street has the same insurance you do. What matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them have you covered. Auto Owners Insurance, the no problem people. The Mallory Agency, 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at MalloryAgency.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. We express, we express our thankfulness to all those who have listened to us as the Cavaliers in the third round of the Georgia High School playoffs. How about one of those uh, uncharacteristic turnovers here by uh, St. Vice, Jack? What do you think? Maybe, maybe, maybe we can, conjure, can, just reach, reach can we conjure one up here, Jack? Terry can just reach and grab it out of somebody's hand. And okay, they're, okay. They're back to the pistol set on right. third down. He'll take the ball, roll to his right, looking to pass. Throws it across the middle, complete there at the 14-yard line. And that'll be enough for a first down. It'll be first and goal, and they'll whistle the play in. Actually, well, they're going right back to the line of scrimmage. Well, what will happen, they'll, they'll stop the clock, and you're probably going to see them clock it here because uh, they have no timeouts left. Yep, they'll, they'll whistle it in. He'll uh, just kind of spike it there, and that'll bring up second down, but the clock will stop. Now, this, does that go as an incomplete pass? I think you're right. <laughs> you know, I, this, this will be an interesting call here for the uh, St. Pius coaching staff. Now, if they do anything that does not get them a first down or get them out of bounds, the half will be over. So, as you go ahead and kick your field goal here? I don't think so. As a defense, you really got to keep them in bounds, um, try to create some pressure here. So, this is an interesting call right here. Ball's and resting on the 13-yard line. They're going back to the pistol. That's what they've thrown out of. Watch for number 30 on single coverage with Terry Godwin out here. He rolls to his left, looking downfield, throws it towards the end zone. Incomplete. Be incomplete. That'll stop the clock with 19 seconds left to go. Good coverage over there that by uh, number 12, Dante Lindsay over there on the left side as the quarterback roll left. And he had to make a quick decision. So that brings up uh, third down in about 10 with 19, to se 19 seconds to go till halftime, Jack. You know, you figure you can run six, a uh, play every six seconds. And down here, that, that took about uh, four seconds off the clock. So you're right, they either, they better be throwing to the sidelines or I don't even know if I would take a chance, guys, at running towards the sidelines. Play clock continues to tick down to 15 seconds. They break the huddle. Especially at third and 10, Greg. So you really see if the Cavaliers can come up with a big stand right here. Twins to the far side. Stands to watch this near side. Five seconds left on the play clock. Quarterback puts some in motion. Wow. It goes with the... Jack, that's going to run out to halftime. Wow. They run the ball. They run the ball. So that's going to... There's no way they'll get him on 10, there. Ten, nine... Not going to happen. I don't think any way it can happen. They run to the length of the line of scrimmage. They're trying to set up for it. Three, I don't see it, Jack. two, one, and that's going to do it. Hey, hey Wait, they didn't make it. it. Didn't make it. No way. No way. The clock. No way. No way. 
No way! Let's see now. That they're going to say that he's. No it. way! We got a line judge going over here. No America. way! They got a line judge. No they'll way call. he got that off. They'll call that off. No way! Backup players. Yeah, they'll call that off. No way! That's terrible! All right. So. I believe they have seen St. Pius this year. So that will end the first half of play. 14-6 as it looked at, from our vantage point that the ball was snapped right if you're looking for a great time, gather up your friends and head to the Brick House Grill in downtown LaGrange. Enjoy live entertainment every weekend. Thursday nights, it's karaoke as well as ladies' night. On Saturdays, come cheer for your favorite college football team and enjoy their football specials. Check out their new menu. Sunday from 11 until 3, the Brick House Grill has their family lunch specials. They have plenty of TVs to watch exciting NFL action. The Brick House Grill, Broom Street in downtown LaGrange. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp about a car loan that could save you hundreds. team let's get it lined up we're gonna run that play again just like our local head coaches invest their time effort and passion into our local teams lagrange banking company invests time effort and passion into our customers we are committed to bringing success to troop county for our local teams and schools as well as our customers that's the way to go after it well done team lagrange banking company local just like you lagrange banking company member fdic We're all trying to connect to a healthier way of life. That's why West Georgia Health has expanded to bring top-ranked medical expertise and specialized services closer to home. From the most advanced technologies to a strong vision for the future, we're connecting together. So healthy together. For one very good reason, your health. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. For over 50 years, Holmes Pharmacy has been a part of your life and your neighbor, and through all those years, it's still locally owned and operated. Holmes Pharmacy on Commerce Avenue has a drive through window and has always had the time to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We're ready for you to join our family at Holmes Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Perry Prather. If you're tired of the large box stores and are looking for fast personal service, come by today in Hamilton or LaGrange at 136 Commerce Avenue. Holmes Pharmacy, where we take care of you one prescription at a time. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch, on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or, when you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch, on the web at joelupchurch.com. At Dairy Queen, we don't stop at good enough. We don't just give you a combo for lunch. We give you a quarter pound grill burger with cheese combo and a mini blizzard for just $5. And I'm not just growing flowers. I'm growing friends. Hey. Hey. Because at Dairy Queen, good isn't good enough. What are you talking to? A quarter pound grill burger with cheese, fries, drink, and a mini blizzard for just $5. So good, it's ridiculous. In this area, we're bound to cross paths. That's why West Georgia Health is exceeding national standards and creating easier access to more specialized care. From expertise provided in your home to a solid foundation for the future, we're connecting together, so healthy together. for one very good reason. 
your health. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. Godwin from, you know, Terry's not ranked as, a, as one of the top juniors in the country for any yeah. for, for no reason. And, wh and what the coaches say about him is his ball skills, is that's, and that's what separates him. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't have elite speed. He has good speed. Yeah. Uh, but his ability to go catch the ball uh, at its highest point and make a play on the ball is just really incredible. You, see, the, the, you know, we can't describe that interception. You know, the touchdown mm -hmm. was incredible. He was forced out of bounds. He came back in and made the catch. But what he did on that interception, I mean, the ball was complete. And yeah. he simply walked up and took the ball away from him. It sounds like he was just kind of bullying the kid. Like, you got my sucker. I'm going to take your, and he I'll take your yeah, lunch money. And he, and he baits quarterbacks like that. He really does. He, he takes the ball, turns around, goes back across the 50, down to the 40. Uh, they come up behind him and just punch the ball out from behind him. It goes up in the air. And the St. Pius player just happened to be exactly where the ball lands. Well, and, and again, on that particular play, the officials made a good call. The, the quarterback was past the line of scrimmage yep. on that time when he made the throw, so uh, they did get that one right. But, uh, you know, again, like I said, it, the, it'll be an important five minutes for the Cavaliers to come out in the second half. They get the ball first, uh, and if they can get the momentum back on their side, defense has really done a great job this first half. They've, uh, uh, they've held uh, St. Pius to six points, uh, really just three, and uh, they've really done a great job. Uh, they've, they've kept the running game in check. The fullbacks have made some progress, but they, they really haven't uh, been able to break the big plays. They found some success there toward the second, toward the end of the half, uh, running the option to the left side. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully the Cavaliers, and, and again, the Cavalier coaching staff has done a great job all year of in-game and halftime adjustments. Right. And one of, the, one of the adjustments they're going to have to make at halftime is, is uh, maybe that momentum swing and come back and see what, uh, see what they can do in the second half. All right, let's take a quick break. We come back, and we'll have Greg up here. They'll walk you through the first half of play and uh, lots more to talk about as we're fort leading 14-3, excuse me, 14-6. Maybe it's just a subliminal message from me right here as we're going in at halftime. 14-6 is your score. Callaway leading on 96-9, and Eagle, 102-3. You need to brush your teeth at least twice a day and you need to have your teeth cleaned and examined at least twice a year by a dentist. We have heard this since we've been kids, but sometimes life can get busy and we forget to brush and skip an appointment and we turn around and it's been a while since we've been to the dentist, so let's get back on track. Call Dr. Childress for an appointment today at 706-882-1888 or on the web at drchildress.com because your smile is very important and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress, next to the post office in Calumet Center in LaGrange. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Key of LaGrange. We're putting the giving in Thanksgiving this month with some great deals. Like the stylish 2013 Kia Optima for only $19.9. That's backed by Kia's industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come by Kia of LaGrange today and find out what being a part of the family is all about. Our sales staff is focused on finding you the right car for the right price, hassle-free. Come visit us online at keyoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Well, we're open at 8 so don't be late. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come. Find staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Looks like lunch just got a little de-crazy. You're telling me for just $5, you get a quarter-pound grill burger topped with melted cheese, delicious DQ fries like golden rays of sunshine, a tall, cool drink bubbling with bubbles, and the one-of-a-kind mini blizzard to top it off? Maybe somebody should pinch me. Not too hard, though. I bruise easily. Five bucks for all that? That's crazy. Dairy Queen, New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Wow. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-1702. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. 
You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back, everyone. We are at halftime. Callaway High School Cavaliers up by a score of 14 to 6 against St. Pius. Uh, Golden Knights, I believe they're called. Golden Lions. Golden Lions. And Greg Hicks has joined me here at, uh, in the booth at halftime. And uh, uh, Jack, uh, Jack's taking a, a refreshment break, so he'll be back with us shortly. But uh, uh, got about 10 minutes to go here until halftime. But Greg, as, we, as you, uh, what were you able to see from the sidelines that uh, that really stood out for you in that first half? Well, I, you know, one of the things that I noticed that number one, first of all, your mic is not busted. But uh, I tell you what, anybody that's ever called football. And, and we have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, we, we, may, we, we can certainly be accused of raising our voices at times. Well, yeah, I'll have to apologize for blowing up eardrums a while ago. But uh, uh, that was. Uh, uh, but again, hopefully that's not going to come back to haunt us that's in the right. second half. Cavaliers, uh, you know, they'll be able to if they can come out and establish something on that first drive. Uh, drive, Greg, it'd be huge. It'd be huge. You, and I think so. And that's a good thing that, that not only they won the toss, but they deferred to the second half. A couple of things I noticed. Uh, you know, you're down on the sidelines, and 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 St. Pius is very very methodical. They're no hurry to do anything. You know, they're out of time out, so you and I noticed they've got to delay a game, and, and it's like they don't know what a hurry-up is. Mm -hmm. uh, they, this was as much of a hurry-up as they could get mm -hmm. at the end of the first quarter, uh, the first half, and they were a little confused in, and the clock did run out. Uh, I was making a joke coming up. We took a straw pole, and, and, and I had to hide the mic because fans were it, and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress, next to the post office in Calumet Center in LaGrange. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Call the Mallory Agency today or check them out on Facebook or on the web at MalloryAgency.com. CB&T, with us, you're closer to what's important to you. Closer to home with three branches in LaGrange. Closer to your money with mobile and internet banking and six local ATMs. Plus, you can use any Synovus or Publix Presto ATM in the southeast. Closer to people who care about you. Local people who make local decisions. We're CB&T. How can we serve you today? CBNT is a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Some restrictions apply to mobile banking. Students at LaGrange College travel to places like London, Tokyo, and the jungles of Costa Rica through our Study Away commitment. First-year freshmen are provided a voucher worth up to $2,500 for an off-campus travel experience their junior or senior year. Attend college close to home and still see the world at LaGrange College. Learn more at lagrange.edu transform. And this will be your premium right here. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to say, I combined home and auto with State Farm. Saved 760 bucks. Love this guy. Okay, does it bother anybody else that the mime is talking? Freaky. Bundle home and auto, and you could save 760 bucks. That's 760 very good reasons to call Matt Orr in LaGrange today.
insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens to your car, home, or business. In this moment, get an agent who'll protect you in that moment. Auto Owners Insurance. The no problem people. Mallory Agency. 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at malloryagency.com. Mention LaGrange College and the word one pops up a lot. Like the student-faculty ratio is 11 to 1. That means plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with professors. Our students work for number one companies, earn Emmy and Grammy nominations, and they give back to their communities, which is wonderful. We are LaGrange College, one of the South's most affordable, highly ranked institutions. One visit and you'll see why. LaGrange.edu slash journey. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. We're getting ready for the second half of play. And you know, Tony, uh, we've talked to a few folks, and uh, Coleman gave us his number. He thinks that we need, he thinks we need 28 on the board to win this ball game. Uh, I like the way Coleman thinks, and I hope we get that. We go the next step to 28 by getting 21 on his first drive of the second half. But we're going to have to continue to score. Uh, St. Pius is not going away. No. Uh, they're, they're a good football club, and uh, uh, they're excited. Now they caught a break in the end of the first half, so they're, they're going to try to come in and, 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 and get physical with the Cavaliers. Cavaliers just have to keep doing what they're doing. They, mm -hmm. they had some success in the first, in the first half. So. Well, you know, we think back, you know, the, the interception. Uh, and Lins, we just got a big, big run play, had the interception, gave the ball back on the 20. That was the drive that led to that field goal there at the end. Uh, but, you know, looking back across the ball game, you know, St. Pius, they score first, they were 3 nothing. We can come right back in the, in the, the you know, in the first, basically the first quarter was one uh, possession for St. Pius, one possession for Callaway. Right, and that uh, first quarter seems like it didn't take 10 minutes. Golly, right? it was yeah. just so quick. But, you know, 7-3 going into the second. Uh, they were able to stop St. Pius, make them uh, punt. They punt the ball out of bounds. Of course, that's the play that had uh, the big Godwin play that was called back. Again, Godwin's got two plays that should be on ESPN Sports Center, but <laughs> will actually never appear on the books of this ball game because well, they got called back. If he goes to Auburn, we'll get him on ESPN Sports Center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's is, is that a recruiting violation I heard just then? I, or didn't, I didn't recruit him. Is that, did he's, I not, he's not an official of Auburn. Oh, yet. okay. Uh, my bad. If he, <laughs> anyway, when Kelly got the ball in your back, you know, they were able to put the ball in the end zone. So in the first half of play, the first two drives, you know, Kelly gets the ball, they score. Uh, it was just, everybody kind of stalled out. Kelly, only, again, only got the ball one more time, and that's when they threw the interception. But, you know, right before that, had the tremendous play downfield. The they, they got us, you know, down there inside the 30. So, uh, you know, the ball bounces weird. That's why it's a funny oblong ball. It does. Kelly has had its chances. And, uh, you know, they, again, they, they're leading this ball game, 14-6. to six, And I, I'm like you. I want to come back out here and, and just uh, – Hit him hard, bring the ball back real quick, and let's let's make something happen. Because I think Terry Godwin has a huge play still in his uh, toolbox there for this left evening. in his arsenal, one that'll count that we yeah. can show on exactly. The but uh, but you know what the the. The offensive star, of course, for the first half of the Cavaliers was Tez Parks. Tez took uh, took a broken play and, and scored a touchdown early, and then, he, of course, he ran the option uh, to the right side one time and scored to put in, and a good job by the uh, extra point people to get those uh, get that extra point. So, um, you know, again, we, hopefully we, we don't have to rely on Tez. We can get that. Eddie Culpepper's had a good first half. Tez, of course, scored the touchdown. Offensive line's had a good first half. Done a good job blocking, open up some holes. So, um, you know, we keep Tez clean in the pocket, complete a couple of passes and loosen up that defense. And, you know, just continue to do what we do and, and do it better than they do in the second half, we'll be okay. Sounds great. Let's go ahead and take our last break. 60 seconds back to the station. We'll have kickoff when we come back on 96.9, 1240 and Eagle 102.3. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Mom, dad, kids, watch what happens when two separate things become one beautiful, glorious thing. No longer will there be any arguing, shouting, or tear dropping, but instead only hugging, high-fiving, and loving. That's because Orange Julius has been added to Dairy Queen. Kids get their favorite Dairy Queen treats like blizzards, ice cream cones, sundaes, and shakes, while mom and dad gets a delicious Orange Julius fruit drink, premium, and light premium fruit smoothies. It's all there together at one store. No Queen or Orange Julius, but rather it's Dairy Queen...
The fullback is going to get to the 35-yard line, about four and a half, five-yard gain, second down. Looks like the coaches from St. Pius have decided to uh, to speed up the tempo a little bit, as you said, Greg. They're a little more uh, a little more giddy up in their step, not milking as much clock. Yeah, he's definitely a, a different quarterback. I'm trying to get his number. Apologize, struggling with that with my technology here. But I'll have it in just a second. He'll go into center. Long snap count. Going to hand the ball to the wing back, 22 Pelt. Pelt will get down inside the 25 down to the 21 yard line. That's a little counter sweep that uh, St. Pius has had a lot of success with tonight, Jack. They moved the ball, uh, ran that sweep to the left over there, and they've, they've really had some, uh, some success on that left side over there behind their big uh, uh, left tackle and left guard. So good return has got the St. Pius with the ball at the 48. They brought it down now to right at the 20 yard line. Quarterback will go in under center. Split the man wide to this near side. Now they'll walk the wing out to the far side on the left. A lot of time down to eight seconds on the play clock. Go to the fullback, and Pelt will be in there at the fullback position. He gets down to the 15-yard line. They'll be up second down from there. Good job that time as they go back inside to their to their big fullback there, number 42, uh, Dalton Wilson. Pick up about uh, about four yards, uh, brings up second down in about six. Uh, balls down uh, near the uh, near the 16-yard line of Callaway. 9:37 left to go in the third quarter. Play 21-6. It's your score. Callaway leading right now. Quarterback comes back under center again. Reverses out. And hands the ball to the tailback, who's going to be brought down short of the first down. May lose a yard at the 16-yard uh, line. It's like where they're going to mark him. Good tackle that time by number 11, Dre Martin. That's one of the few plays he hadn't, but he wasn't held on, and he was able to get off of that block and uh, throw that play for no game. Brings up third down at about six. Guys, I think he has just switched jerseys because I'm looking across the field. I don't see 11, and I don't have a uh, 98 on my roster. I'm actually watching how he approaches the line. It's the same kid. Yep, he gets into the center the same way that he yeah, did the he, first half. So he's just switched jerseys. So maybe got ripped or something in that first one. The coach is over here in the coach box telling me that is number 11, okay. quarterback. All right, so he goes under center, has a band going in motion. We hit him, the, actually we hit the tailback. He's the wrong one to hit as they pitch it. And they're going to knock him out of bounds down at the three-yard line and a good play by St. Pius. Good execution that time of the option play. They faked to the fullback. He was hit. Quarterback kept it, got, got uh, around the right side and set up uh, Pelt with a pitch. So that sets up St. Pius with a first down inside the Callaway five-yard line with 8.37 to go here in the third quarter. Callaway 21, St. Pius 6. And the Callaway coach is vividly upset over here. And Terry Godwin trying to uh, uh, – Preached for his calls, he just couldn't do it because he was uh, he was obviously held. Uh, everybody saw it except the line judge. Here they come back to the line of scrimmage, taking their time. Nine, eight seconds left on the play clock. Hand the ball to the fullback, and he should be fake to the fullback. Now the quarterback touchdown. Side pies. Yep, Wilson will go in and pick up a touchdown. So they answer right back to the Cavaliers after a good return up to the 49. They get the ball down into the end zone. Good drive by St. Pius. Looks like they may be going for two here, Jack. I'm gonna tell you guys that was that. Other than I mean, it started with a with a good kickoff return to midfield, but but it seems like when St. Pius does up tempo, they actually may uh, may have a better offense. A little more sense of urgency. You're exactly yeah. right, uh, Greg. They weren't taking their time that time. That's for sure. They are going to line up for a two point conversion. Hello. Under center goes the quarterback Wilson. Wilson versus two at the left. Going to try to throw it into the end zone and does. Ran a little pick play out there. Good job. They rubbed off the receiver. So St. Pius answers with a big touchdown of their own. Make the score now 21-14, Callaway. 21-14, they, uh, they score there. Let's go and take a quick break. With 8.33 left to go in the third, listen to 96.9, 1240, and Eagle 102.3. You're busy with places to go and people to see. CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. These and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Now, back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. We went in the halftime. George back at the station and sent us some scores. Trying to get those real quick before they kick the ball off. 
Washington County 19, Blessed Trinity 10, Ringo 14, Central Carrollton 7, and Buford 22, Carver of Columbus 0. All right, here we go. As again, we got Hans' team on the field. As again, they're going to kick it high towards the corner. Fair catch called for back there. And the Cali Cowboys had it at the 32. Good job by number 11, Dre Martin, to catch that one. Good field position that time for the, as uh, Dre Martin does a smart thing. Calls for a fair catch. The Cavaliers are going to be set up on their own 32-yard line. So, uh, Cavalier offense back on the field. Let's see them see if they can respond uh, to uh, to the last touchdown by St. Pius. I guess they're scared that uh, it's going to get to Terry and he's going to take it out of the end zone and run it all the way back. Well, they're smart. You know, I wouldn't kick it I to him either. You know, that's, that's good strategy. So, I might try to kick it a little deeper, though, man. It just, they lined up as far as they could on the far side. Interesting point, though. To move it. And to re run it right back. So this begin, drive begins on the 32-yard line. Well, we are talking about the Columbus. I mean, the Atlanta. <laughs> Go the other way. Sorry, Freudian slip. They can roll the, the tight end back to this near side. It'll be Culpepper, the ball carrier. He's looking for a hole. Finds one. Gets across the 50. Still in seat the 40. Got one man to beat. It's a 20, 10, 5. Eddie Culpepper all alone scores a touchdown for the Cavaliers. No flags, Jack. No flags. No flags. What a great run by Eddie Culpepper. Josh Williams, number 50. Uh, David Powell, number 57. Courtney Leif, number 56. Big gaping hole on the right side. Eddie Culpepper turned on those jets. And there's that man possessed again, Greg. Well, I'm going to say, Tony, he wouldn't go down. He, he, he broke four, five, six five, tackles. Five at least. And just kept going. He just would not go down. And, you know, he had a great vision when he first got the ball. He looked to go outside, and he cut it back up inside, juked a couple of guys, and he was off to the races. Hardest 165 in Troop County, Greg. Big extra, big extra point here now. Chase Freeman snap, hold, kick is up. And the kick is good. All right, there's the 28 points we said we needed. We need more, in my opinion. 28-14 with 8-14 left to go. <laughs> Coleman, to... Coleman just said two more, and I yeah. don't mean, think he means two points. No. When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Rob Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Rob Upchurch, on the web at robupchurchsales.com. Or... When you are ready to buy or sell a house, commercial property, or acreage, you need to call Joel Upchurch. He is ready to go to work for you. Joel Upchurch, on the web at joelupchurch.com. Uh, and that's one of the things we talked about as we get ready for kickoff here. How much rest did the defense just get for the Cavaliers? Uh, none. You know, hopefully they'll be ready. That Hopefully that'll get them going and they, they can rest uh, tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think, Jack? <laughs> you got to have another week before you can rest. Here goes the kick. A nice high kick. Again, he's done a great job tonight. Better take him back at the 10, up to the 15, to the 20. Need to make a play here. Get him down at the 33-yard line. Good return again that time. Keyshawn Freeman doing a good job getting down. Uh, a little bit out of control right there. Ran right by the tackle. but Cuts uh, back inside after a, a nice run to the outside. And he's going to get first down yardage across the 45 to the 43. Good cutback by that time by the by the halfback Pelt as he was able to get out across the 45-yard line near the 50. Ball's going to be spotted for a first down out near the 48-yard line. A little, little tempers are starting to see uh, from the offensive right tackle for St. Pius, number 63. Uh, little extracurricular activity. Didn't get caught by the... Uh, by the back judge, but uh, he keeps that up, he will. This is the time you want to keep your composure right here and don't hurt your team. Act Greg. like you've been here before. And both teams have. 28-14 your score. Callaway leading right now. St. Pius. They're going to hand the ball off to the fullback right up to the middle. He'll get about two, maybe three yards, second and seven. Good tackle that time by number 19, Nooney Anderson from his uh, left defensive end and also number 10, Keyshawn Freeman from his middle linebacker position. So uh, brings up second down and about six here. Ball's across the 50 on the Callaway side down to 47-yard line. Yeah, we, we, go ahead, Greg. I tell you, the quicker they can get on that fullback, he may cough that ball up because he's uh, several times a night, I notice he's carrying that ball off his thigh. Also, that's a long time that they, he's, he's riding that ball in there. And that's a, that's a nice opportunity to pump that ball out when it's like that. Six, five, the play clock ticks down. Finally, he goes up under center. He better hurry. Two, one, he snapped the ball. And we hit the fullback. He's going to pitch the ball, and we hit the pitch, man, big time after a game.
gain of only a yard by Terry Godwin. That's how you defense the, the option there. Number 25 for St. Pius missed his block out here on Terry Godwin. Terry came up and forced the run, and that's why he's one of the one of the top 10 juniors in the country, Jack, wow. not only in the southeast. But, boy, the Cavaliers really played that option well that time. Did you say he's going to Auburn? <laughs> I'll just check it. Yeah, he he. Uh, look at it. he's all fired up over the other guys on the sideline saw that coming. Big Man. third down here for the Cavaliers. Excuse me, Greg, let me interrupt you, but no, big good. third down at five here. Quarterback looks back to the sideline. Locks down to about eight. Gets a call from his coaching staff. Reverses out, hands the ball to the wing back. He cuts her out. We're going to throw him outside. He takes a little dip in. We're going to get him, and he's going to get a first down though across down near the forty yard line. Kept he, those feet he just moving. did get it though. Yeah. I got across there, kept those feet moving. Good job by uh, by number 22, Jack Pelt. He's had a big game for St. Pius tonight. Had a couple of big runs and uh, uh, really done a good job running the football. He does, and, and took little steps to the inside, steps to the inside. Kind of made the linebackers bite up, and then was able to pump it back out to the outside again. And the Cavaliers have, have, have had some problems with that on their right side of their defense tonight with, uh, uh, with that run. Pelt will come back. He'll have a single back behind him. Split the man wide to this near side. Much wider than they ran the whole first half. Man in motion. He's going back up to pass. Going to throw across the middle. And nice extension, but an incomplete pass. As the clock will stop there, it'll be second down and ten. Tried to run a little run a little swing route out here. Sent the wide receiver deep to, to clear out the zone. And uh, ran uh, the halfback pelt out here in the flat. Just overthrew him a little bit. Uh, brings up second down at about ten. I, th I think that's another 22. That's not the same 22 as the first half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he ran the ball. I'm with you, buddy. Same. You're closer than I am. I can. I'll a lot younger. You, your eyes are I'll, a lot better, bro. I'll, I'll give you a real good reason later. <laughs> so here we go. Short uh, wide out to the far side. Back under center goes the quarterback. He'll hand the ball off. He got a nice little trapped in the middle of the field. He get across the 35 down to the 33. He'll be short of the first down. Brings up third down. St. Pius doing a good job of running that little buck sweep, uh, little jet sweep type thing there, getting some blockers on our linebackers and uh, been able to pick up some yardage on, not only on the left side but on the right side that time. Brings up third down at about three here, 520 to go in the third quarter with your Cavaliers up by a score of 28 to 14. They break the huddle, make the way back to the line of scrimmage, moving left to right. Quickly to the line is the, are the Golden Lions of St. Pius. They go back under center. Takes the snap, reverses out. They're going to run that same play. We're wow. going to in the backfield. A oh, huge a play. Brian Zalea with a big hit. He shot the gap and threw that play for a big loss. All the way back outside the 40-yard line. Well, they're actually going to mark it inside the 40 at the 39. So let's see what St. Pius is going to do here. Fourth down and about eight now. They it's just a, about have to punt, don't they, guys? Uh, they hadn't punted all night. Why would they start now? Well, they, they've had one punt. And it took them about four plays to get to it. Okay. Well, fourth down and 12. You're exactly right, Greg. They're going to go for it. All right, so the ball rests at the 39. They get, get almost to the 30 to pick up a first down. In a pistol set right now. And a timeout called by the Cavaliers with 425 left to go in the third quarter. They take a timeout. We take one as well. 28-14. This is the Callaway Cavalier football on 96-9-12-40 WLAG. If you're looking to question, what do you get when you take real fruit, which is great, blend it into a delicious smoothie, which is also great, put that smoothie in a world-famous Orange Julius smoothie shop, totally great, and put that Orange Julius smoothie shop in a Dairy Queen, which is unbelievably great? You get something great inside something great inside something great inside something great. Now put that something great inside you, you, and feel great. Orange Julius premium fruit smoothies, made with real fruit and yogurt, all with more, and now a Dairy Queen. 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. So here's what we're looking at. Fourth down and nine. As St. Pius you know, just lined up in a pistol set. They've run that before. They put three uh, three receivers out to this near side. They've got one guy that will cut across the middle, one guy that just kind of hooks up, and another one going deep to try to draw somebody back. So it's pretty much going to be man-to-man -man out here on the outside if they line that up again. They really like big, uh, big wide receiver number 30 here. He's going to be split over to the left this time, number 22 out there. They're going to run the that. Cavaliers yeah. on the coverage, uh, Michael Moss. So let's see what they run here, Jack. Back to the pistol. Fourth down and 12. Wilson will take the shotgun snap. Roll to this near side. We're going to try to contain him. We got him in his face. Wow, what pressure. He, sh he just shuttles it forward. We tackle him at the 40. 
and bring him down. So it's going to be Callaway ball over on downs, almost headed wow. back at the 50. What a job by the Cavalier defense right there. Great discipline, great pressure. Uh, Lorenzo Patterson, Deion Smith, uh, great tackle out there by R.J. Wortham, number 18, Keyshawn Freeman. Great job by the Cavalier defense. So let's see now with 4.14 to go into third quarter. Your Cavaliers up by a score of 28 to 14. Turn the ball back over to the offense. Let's go get some more points, Jack. Well, this breaks breaks the the, the, the stride we had going into the second half. As uh, Callaway scored, then St. Pius scored, then Callaway scored, and now Callaway stops them. So now let's, let's answer with some points with great field position at the 39-yard line. Parks will go with the eye formation that he's had behind him all ball game long. Backs up, hands the ball to Culpepper. You see what to get you. Culpepper on the corner, Greg. To the 35, to the 30. Brought it out of bounds. Uh, excuse me, I said that's 45 to 50. He'll actually go out of bounds across the 50. They're going to mark him at the 48. Big run by Eddie Culpepper that time again around the right side. Number 57, Devin Powell leading the way. Uh, Josh Freeman, the offensive line, playing with a lot of confidence. Brandon Sutton. Got the ball out across the 50 down in the St. Pius territory at the 47-yard line. Clock running with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Your Cavaliers up by a score of 28 to 14. Back in the huddle. They break the huddle. They split twins out to this near side. They'll have Petey Leverett in a slot set. And they're going to hand them off of that quick trap to Rosser. Rosser going to pick five, maybe six yards again. Boy, he's, they still haven't brought him down. St. Pius reaching for that football now, trying to knock it out. They need a big turnover to get back in this. Terry Godwin was out for a couple of plays. He's coming in now after a quick breather. So a uh, good gain on first down by Devon Ross. I hadn't called his name out a lot this time. Uh, tonight, he's been a big cog in that wheel, but uh, he picked up a uh, big four yards that time on first down. Clock continues to run, Jack, and that's what I like. He's, uh, he has blocked tremendously. All these big runs by Cole Pepper and Parks that we call about. It's Rosser that's leading the way, popping people's heads, taking out two, three, I mean, three guys before they get to him. Lever will roll out wide to this near side. Parks will take it, fake the handoff to the tailback, and they'll bring out Culpepper down for a loss back at the 45. Good tackle that time from his linebacker position, number 32. Uh, not sure what his uh, name is, but he did a good job of filling that gap and uh, was able to throw that play for about a two-yard loss. Ball's back into 45, so that's going to bring, bring up third down at about eight here for the Cavaliers. You like the way Brandon Sutton come off his offside tackle position. Just crushed that deep. Did, that you, did yes, you see that? Yeah, 15 he crushed yards it. downfield and pancaked him. Man, 32, you like that. 32 doesn't make that tackle. Eddie's still running because Brandon really had a good block there, Greg. You're exactly right. Godwin comes in. Split wide to the near side. They roll the tight end again to the far side slot, to that far side. Parks just going to take it and run up the middle of the field to the 40. And he's going to get down at about the 38-yard line. He, Greg, looks like he may be just about, what, about a foot short. Going to be a little bit short. We, we got, got number 53. Down the field. Josh Williams down holding his knee. So let's, hopefully nothing's major there. Hopefully we can get Josh up. They will mark him fourth and one as they take care of Josh. Let's go and take 30 seconds back to the station. Cowley leading 28-14 with 2.15 left to go in the third quarter of play. This is Cowley Cowley football, 96-9, 12-40, and Eagle, 102-3. It's tough out there, trying to stretch every paycheck a little further than the last one. It means cutting cost, and one of the best places to start is at the office of State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange, because he'll do a free discount double check to make sure you're getting the car insurance discounts you deserve, up to 40%. So give State Farm Agent Matt Orr a call today because being there to help keep more of your money in your pocket is why he's there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. 28-14 is your score. Callaway leading right now with 215 left you on the third quarter play. It was number 50, Tony. That's Josh Williams, number 53, coming off field. He's the center. Number 50, Stephen Curtis, getting ready to go in for him, Greg. He's been taking – he and uh, Tez have been doing some – about 15 snaps real quick. Got to get his arm warmed up, get his stance ready to go. So, uh, Good to see him it's up always up. important, you know, guys, you got to keep your eye on that exchange between yes, the new center and the quarterback. Fourth down at about a half a yard. Big down right here for the Cavaliers. Uh, is they're going to go for it. I'm going to put the ball in Tez's hands and let him make a play right here, guys. I well, don't know what y'all think. Hey, the safe bet, you got a brand new center in. <laughs> what, what a time to bring him in now. Fourth and one. All right, so they bring in Stephen Curtis in as a – and he is just a sophomore. sophomore. Big moment for him. Is it going to be offside? I think he moved. He did. I think the Cavaliers moved the ball that time. I'm not sure. I believe uh, it looked like he flinched. I'm not sure there. The center drug it about an inch. Wow, sure did. 
Mm, that hurts there. That, that, that's just bad timing. This, no doubt. No doubt. All right, now what do you do as a coaching staff? I'm going to put it in Tez's hands, let him make a play again. There you go. Uh, I'm with you. I don't punt the ball. I'm going to quick kick it. I'm going to put Tez, I guess, in the short shotgun, snap it directly to him and see what he can do. Josh Williams uh, stretching it out, walking around, wishing he was back on the field, getting back up behind the coaches, trying to get back on the field right now. I believe the, oh, we got one-on-one -on -one coverage out here on Terry Godwin. You could see that quick pooch kick. And we, and we got motion, too. Did we move again? Yeah, we moved again. I'm telling you, when you bring a center in like that, you guys know it's all. And yeah, it's all about Pice the timing. It's all yeah. up there on him. Right. And it wasn't him that moved in. It was the rest of the offensive line that jumped up. Well, the snap count's off a little bit now. So they back us up five more. Good to see Josh Williams heading back into the ball game right here. Still limping a little bit, but he's going back in. He's had a tough year this year with an elbow injury. And, boy, that's a big, uh, that's a big set of, of, of 10 yards right there. That's a... Uh, uh, the quick kick didn't work. Had an opportunity had fourth and, fourth and uh, about six inches, and now it's fourth down and 15. And this is this is the right call here, and you can bet they're coming to block this one. Here comes the snap. Good snap. He steps up. Gets the ball off. Good punt. Good punt by the Cavaliers. Fair catch down around the 10-yard line by number 22, Pelt. So good job that time by the uh, Cavaliers to get that punt out of there. So now they'll set up shop with the worst field position they've had. In fact, I don't think they've had anything short of the 30 so far in this ball You're game. right. 139 to go, Jack, in the third quarter. Good to see Josh Williams back in there. Boy, that was a big from fourth and six to fourth and 11, really uh, fourth and six inches to fourth and 11 yeah. really, uh, really hurt there. But uh, now Cavalier defense got to play. Got to stop them. Minute 39 left to go in the third quarter. And, wow, has, has the ball moved all over the place in the third quarter. So he's St. Pius' third time with the ball now in the second half of play. Quarterback will check his line, step up under. He's got a double wing set, puts a man in motion. Backs up, hands the ball off to the fullback. He's going to be hit and wrapped up brought after a gain of three down at the 14. Going to be just shy of the 15. You're right, Jack. They ran that big fullback off their right side. Keyshawn Freeman there in the hole to meet him. And also number five, uh, number eight, LeBron Zalea there, and Justice Perkins. So uh, clocks down to 120 here in the third quarter and uh, uh, brings up about a second down and about seven here for St. Pius. They break the huddle with 20 seconds left to go on the play clock. Quarterback steps up the line and steps back, looks over the sideline, gives his final instructions from his coaching staff. Now he'll go under center, puts a man in motion, back down the near side. He's going to keep the ball. Ball's on the ground. And 16. Good job, Aaron Clausell, that time as they try to run that option to the left side. He took care of the quarterback. Cavaliers took care of the fullback. Linebackers did. The pitch man was covered by number 12, Dante Lindsay. So with 40 seconds to go in the third quarter, big third down and about seven here for St. Pius. It's a big third down. You're exactly right, Tony. Now, you, you know, they, they, they punted the ball, Jack. You said one time. I don't remember that. I must have been taking a nap. But, uh, it, was a sure, it was the punt that went out of bounds. They shanked it so you. bad, Greg. Thank you. I yeah. remember that. I wasn't sleeping. Um, well, you, you, holding this time, yeah, I think punting's in order. I think you might see a punt. Of course, now the, the big thing is this third down. Is the quarterback's going to roll out. He's going to throw the ball out into the flat mm. complete. They'll pick up the first down. So no punt here. Wow. That gets down to the 31. Good execution that time by St. Pius as they get a first down out, out across, out near the 30-yard line, actually across the 30-yard line to about the 32. So found a man open in the flat out there, run that little waggle pass, and uh, that's something they can do. And, and, and uh, you know, they've run it about four times, and they've been successful four times. Yep. Yeah. And I think they just Two-point conversion. You're exactly right. It's the same, the same play. So big first down for St. Pius there. Nine seconds left to go in the third. 28-14 is your score. Back under center is the quarterback. Takes the snap, going down the line, hands it off to the fullback who's just wow. upended there. He'll make get a yard out of that, and that'll be the last play of the third quarter. Keyshawn Freeman with a big tackle there on every no almost no gain there. They might give him a yard on that one, but we in the third quarter, Jack. We got one more. All right. The four fingers holding going up in the air. Terry Godwin signaling the crowd. It's the fourth quarter. 28-14 is the score. This is the Cowboy Cowboy Football, 96-9-12-40, WLAG. 
you need to have your teeth brushed at least twice a day and have your teeth cleaned and looked at twice a year by a dentist. We have heard this since we've been kids, but sometimes life can get busy and we forget to brush and skip an appointment and we turn around and it's been a while since we've been to the dentist, so let's get back on track. Call Dr. Childress for an appointment today at 706-882-1888 or on the web at drchildress.com because your smile is very important and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress, next to the post office in Calumet Center in LaGrange. To review individual cases and determine the most effective treatment options for those patients. At West Georgia Health, we've put all our services together for you so you can focus on one thing, fighting cancer. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. To learn more, visit WGHealth.org. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back. Fresh 12 minutes on the board. St. Pius puts a man in motion. Quarterback's going to roll out to his right. Looking, looking, got good coverage out there. He's going to have to run the ball. Gets across the line of scrimmage and goes out of bounds on the far side. Good coverage in the secondary that time by the Cavaliers. Quarterback uh, uh, Joey Connor rolled to his right. Couldn't find anyone open downfield, but was able to get upfield for about about a four-yard gain, get out of bounds and stop that clock. And now the uh, the clock becomes the Cavaliers' friend. Is it, we, we want to see him stay in bounds and that clock run, Jack. Well, we're also kind of watching the finger of the clock guy, make sure he presses it right over there. St. Pius taking their time as they did a lot in the first half. 17 seconds, they're just now breaking the huddle. Third down about five, Jack. Big third down here for the Cavaliers. Quarterback Connors going under center. Single back behind him. Put a man in motion. That's the wing back. Toss sweep to him. We cut him back inside. And he's going to be short of the first down. That's going to depend on the spot there, Jack. Boy, that good tackle by Keyshawn Freeman there. Nick Ruffin. Now, I got his knee down wow. at the 42. Uh, <laughs> they're going to have to measure that. I believe that's going to be a first down, guys just based on that. Looked like a left foot spot, so I believe that's going to be a first down. And they're going to bring out the chain, so let's see what we got. I'm, I'm going to say he's short. But now, at the end, I thought he was short uh, by at least a yard. I thought his knee went down on the 42. Well, whether it is or not, you, you know it's fourth down. They're going to have to go for it because they can't afford to get the ball back to the no. Cavaliers again. So uh, I, I believe that's going to be a first down, not by about a half a football. First down by half a football, all right. Yeah, that was that, that was that left foot spot they got there that time. That right foot might have been a little short, but uh, uh, but like we said, it, it would have been fourth down anyway. You know they would have gone for it. So uh, they really, uh, the clock is the Cavalier friends now, and uh, we want to see that thing moving. 28-14 is your score. 11.35 left to go in the ball game. St. Pius will send their line back to the line of scrimmage. The quarterback will look back up. Check with his coaches. Step up. 10, 17 seconds left to go on the play clock. Taking his time. Man in motion. Reverses out. Toss sweep to him. Same play there. Randy Smith go. Big we hit, hit him hard at the line of scrimmage. Big hit there. About time by number six. That's Eddie Culpepper. Playing for free safety. Boy, he's, been, by, he's been hitting on both sides. Yes, of the ball sir, night. buddy. And, he's, and, the, and another big thing, he stayed in bounds and helps that clock continue to run. Yeah. Brings up second down in about nine. But, you know, guys, I've seen a lot of former football players here tonight. Besides us three, uh, <laughs> You know, a lot of important people. Just, no, you talk about they were real football players. Oh, I fix to say, uh, calling us former football players is. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Pistol set this time for St. Pius on second. Quarterback will roll to his right, looking, looking, looking. Gets to the outside, throws it down the field, and we're going to intercept, intercept it. it. Ed Daniel. He's still on his feet, cuts back to this near side. Picks Great up some block. blockers. He's got some blockers, Gets Jack. Gets 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Following Cavaliers down the field. There's the flag. We knew we were probably going to get one on the block downfield. But it's still going to be Callaway Cavalier ball. Looks like maybe a block in the back. I'm not sure, but the Cavaliers should retain possession, Jack. Yep. That's a big pick by Ed Daniel right there, number two. Really played that ball well once it in the, got it in there, caught it at his highest point, and uh, really did a good job that time. Well, you can just see St. Pius changing their scheme. They've been running a little sweep, left sweep, right, fullback up the middle, and not really getting a whole lot. They decided one time to go for broke, which is out of character. It's against them. Wow, that's against them. Hey, hey, they Cavaliers had a wall behind them. They almost had a late hit with a fullback, 42, come in, did a little spear on Daniel as he tackled him, and I'm surprised he didn't call that. 
So the referee will step out to That's address the crowd. Tack on some more, baby. And, guys, y'all watch, you watch the Cavalier offensive line break the huddle and tell me they, they're not ready to play. They uh, they smell a little uh, blood well, in the water here. Let's, let's put this way. Defense doesn't need to sit down. And you, <laughs> you, 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 you watch those guys get a little hungry right here. So that mark off. That might be 15. That's a 15-yard personal foul. Look at them. They can't wait to get to that line of scrimmage. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now, guys. 10-24 to 24 to go here in the ball game. Your Cavaliers up by a score of 28-14. to 14. And an opportunity right here now with a touchdown to really make this tough on St. Pius. That was a block the field. below the waist. So the, from the 26 come the Kelly Cavaliers. Parks backs up. Cole Peppers, the ball carrier. Spins down, gets about three, maybe four yards. I talked to Josh Williams earlier, um, and he said his knee, what had happened is uh, the helmet uh, came in late, caught him right in the side of his knee. He's able to walk it out and stretch out, and uh, he said, I'm ready to go. Well, he was ready to go when he came off the field. He really didn't want to come off the field. Now, Greg, this might, Greg, excuse me, guys, this may be an opportunity now for the Cavaliers to milk some crap. I, I was just thinking you know, the same they, thing, Tony. They drag, watch, you time, drag yourself a little bit. Yeah, they want they get up to the line of scrimmage, second down in about six or five here. An opportunity to milk that clock, just like St. Pius does. Parks under what. center, got Rosser behind it. Takes the snap, going to run the option. Pitches it out to Culpepper. Culpepper picks a couple of moves, gets to the 20, and they're going to back him up from there. So gains of a couple more. But it's third down and about three, maybe four. Main Eight. thing is he stayed in bounds. Greg, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the, the uh, defensive back, Nick Ruffin on the other side, completely left Terry Godwin. He read run and was on a corner blitz, and Terry Godwin was, if Parks could have seen that, and maybe checked to another play. But uh, a good job. Uh, St. Pius is starting to get a little desperate here now, well, and the Cavaliers can feel it. And, and you know you have to take that chance That's sometime, right. but uh, Culpepper could have could have hopped, stopped, and tossed it right over to Godwin for a quick six. Every time <laughs> Godwin comes to the line of scrimmage, he's just grinning mirror to ear. But you like what they're doing running the clock, third down and five. They're back up into a shotgun set, and got a lot of movement before the ball snapped. I think that's going to go against the Cavaliers. So they'll back up up five. So it'll be third and nine now. Wow. Can't really have that when you're trying to put a ball game away. Third and nine is a lot different than third and four. Yep. So um, I'm thinking now maybe you put it in Tez's hands. Are you in four down territory here, I guess, guys? Uh, yeah. You, you know, can. you're going to run that clock as much as you can. I don't know if uh, Chase Daniel can kick a kick a field goal right now. Well, you risk a lot 36. of things. With, you risk yeah. a lot of things with a field goal, possible block. You return it. Well, you think yeah. his, uh, his approach is a, is a kind of a one-step PAT approach. Yeah, and I'm thinking right here, you got Terry Godwin one-on-one -on, -one on the left side. I, take I think I know where this ball's going. Parks will back up in the shotgun snap. He's just going to run the ball right up the middle of the field, fights his way down, gets to the 20. They bring up fourth down, and he's got to get to the uh, 23. Five. So, so the 20, they'll mark it the 20 or 21? Uh, it's a 21. It'll be fourth and five. He's got to get down to the 16-yard line, guys. All right. You may see the Cavaliers run this down to... Uh, to a few seconds and maybe call a timeout to see what uh, see what's happening. Let me tell you something, Tony. I kind of like what you and I were just talking about there. A little, uh, little option or a little quick pitch to Culpepper. Let him come out here and just uh, kind of stop. Let, uh, let let Godwin do a little stalk. Yeah. <laughs> and then go on. I'm telling you, that well, corner's going to bite on you're him. You're right. This would be the time. If you've got to play up your sleeve, yeah. uh, uh, you know, a lot of you, if you've got to play up your sleeve, it's fourth down and five because you know St. Pius is selling out here because they, well, they have to stop the Cavaliers on this play right we, here. We know the troop coaches listen, but do the Callaway coaches listen? <laughs> Let's see. They line up. See, well, see the corner back totally leaving the wide receiver and here he comes. Parks going to hand it off to Culpepper. Oh, and he's loose. But he finds the hole. First, picks first up the down, first down Cavalier. inside the 15-yard line, down to the 12. you got to give that offensive line a lot of credit up there. You know, you talk about Josh Williams playing hurt, 54, Harley Tabor, Devin Powell, 57, Courtney Lay, number 56, and, of course, big Brandon Sutton, right guard, number 55. Can't give them enough credit. That's a huge first down for the Cavaliers. Can still pick up a first down inside the four. Ball's on the 13-yard line, guys. So here we go. Again, we put our, our end on the right, then rolling back to the left. Parks will go down the line. He's going to call his own number, go up into the middle of the field. Gets across the 10 to about the 7. And that play didn't look like much, but you probably when he gets up, you're going to see about a gain of 5. Uh, Parks going to be down inside the and right near the 7-yard line as that clock continues to run down to 7 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter with your Cavaliers up by a score of 28-14. to 14. Second down and a long six. They're going to give him four, four good yards. Ball spotted on the nine-yard line. 28-14 is your score. Callaway leading this one. Six minutes and 54 seconds. 
to make history for the Callaway Cavaliers. First time that they will have gone past the third round of the semifinals. And uh, we'll just hold serve here, see if Callaway can get it in the end zone. Parks backs up, hands to Culpepper. Culpepper fights his way down inside the five. He's going to get down at the four-yard line, just short of the first down. It looks like where they're spotting it. Brings yep. up a very manageable third down. Greg, I don't know where you are. That's probably less than one, but uh, uh, an opportunity right here to, with six minutes and 20 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Uh, you're probably going to see the Cavaliers go for his third down in about two. So uh, a yard another, and a half, eh? another big third down here, guys. Ball spotted on about the four-and-a-half-yard line. He's got to get down to the three for a first down. Does it seem like it's third down every play to y'all? <laughs> My goodness gracious. How many of these situations have we run into in this ball game? If the Cavaliers went on a long count, they'd get them off sides right here. Snap. Parks will hand the ball off Ross, inside the line. That's going to be a first down, I believe. Uh, I believe. I, I think he crossed the yard line. They snatched it out, but they'd already blown the whistle. Yep. Well, I hope so. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he's calling it down. down. Yeah, Rosser picks up the first down inside the so it's inside the three. Looks like where they're spotting it. It's a first down, guys. I, I don't know if it's not a first. Oh, they're going to have to measure this one. Uh, they're going to call it fourth down. If it's fourth down, it's about fourth and two inches. They, they should, I mean, it needs to be a measure here. Let's see what they do. Ah, yeah, they're going to call for a measurement. Good job. Coach Deep, your steps on the field and says, now look, we need this ball measured. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, and his forward progress was beyond the third yard, the three yard line. They, they put the ball at the tip of the three yard line. So. If it's a first down, guys, it'll be by an inch. Let's take a quick 30 seconds while they check that. 28-14 on 96.9-1240 and Eagle 1023. Mention LaGrange College and the word one pops up a lot. Like the student-faculty ratio is 11 to 1. That means plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with professors. Our students work for number one companies, earn Emmy and Grammy nominations, and they give back to their communities, which is wonderful. We are LaGrange College, one of the South's most affordable, highly ranked institutions. One visit, and you'll see why. LaGrange.edu slash journey. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back in fourth and an inch. I, I can't believe he actually held up his hands. He had to look at the ball twice to decide whether it was a first down or not. If they go on a long count, they can get a cheap first oh, down. Yeah, I, 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 I believe it, and, and I don't know. They may go. I'm, I'm pretty sure Tess Parks is going to run a quarterback sneak here. Anything else would really shock me right here, guys. A lot of good clock that's been run off as it's 536 left to go. But I want the first down. I want the touchdown for that matter. So here comes one of the biggest plays in. Parks. Ball's on the ground. Uh, I think Parks got it back, but it's going to depend on forward progress. No, he did not get it. The way they're going to spot this ball, he's going to lose two inches, and he was already short by an inch. I'm afraid that. Uh, did, they, did they just snap it as soon as he got under center? He got under center and it mishandled it. Fell on the ground. He grabbed it. Got a little bit. Got a little bit of a hurry there. He sat down on a three-yard line. On the three-yard line. I don't know they're going to give it to him. What do you think, Greg? I'll be surprised if they give it. No, they they they, got, they spotted the ball back an inch this time. They're not going. I don't think it's going to happen. They're going to measure. All right, so we'll, we'll keep it here as they going to bring out the chains once more. Wow, just got a little bit too much of a hurry there. Tried to get the snap off and never got the snap. Tried to run before uh, before he got it. But 5:23 to go here in the fourth quarter. Callaway up by a score of 28 to 14. So uh, let's see if we got. Let's see if we caught a break here, guys. Uh, you better get that defense ready. We need a quick turnover here. Safety would be fine, too. Mm. They stretch it. It'll be St. Pius ball. So go line stand for St. Pius. Well, that was one of those things. I don't know that it was a go line stand as much as it was. It. We just made a mistake. I try to call it right down the middle, Greg. I hear you. I hear you. You're unbiased. For St. Pius, I got you. <laughs> really thought the play before that, guys. We got a we got a bad spot. I agree uh, with you, Tony. And, and it looked from up here like we were across the three, and they didn't give us a spot. So well, I, I'm right on the three, and from here he was over the three, and they backed the ball up. Yeah. So we'll see what the what the officials are talking to the St. Pius coach about now. And one of the things that, that Callaway's got to be careful of is, is just what you said that quick that quick count maybe a little freeze play they don't want to cheat five yards to get them out of this hole a little bit on a three yard line yeah they'd love to get a little space between them and the end zone well you really got to be got to be be ready for 
you know, hooking laterals and uh, halfback passes and those kind of things because they got to they got to call out all the stops now. So here we go. Ball rests on the three yard line. Callaway fans are on their feet. First down for St. Pius, moving right to left. Quarterback goes under center to the fullback, who's going to get down to the seven, eight yard line. And that's okay. Let that clock run. Well, you know, right, Tony, he's, uh, you know, you're down by 14 points, 28 to 14. Callaway Cavaliers leading with 5 12 to go in this football game. Uh, and you're right. Now it's time not to be conservative. You got to pull out all stops. And, and they, uh, of course, they grab five yards up the middle. I don't know that St. Pius has got a two minute offense. Well, they don't seem to be running one this ball game. Connors will go again back to the center. Now, from this, this lineup, they've gone into a pistol set, but now they're going to have five receivers for him. Haven't seen this particular lineup yet. He backs up the pass. going to throw it out into the flats complete. And we're going to bring him down on a nice little back. We've got to give him a, a belly to belly suplex. It's a 15-yard line, so a big hit. Good tackle by Terry Godwin out there as he, as he uh, and the St. Pius coach is going crazy over there. But, it's you know, welcome to, welcome to Callaway Stadium, guys. I mean, there's really nothing dirty about it. He, he has to, and he's, the guy's still running, the whistle's not blown. You pick him up and you put him on the ground. 4.32 to go. Clock's running. That was a first down for St. Pius. In fact, that's, that's as clean a play as you have. St. Pius going to take a timeout here, Jack. They take a timeout. We take one as well. 4.18 left to go. 28-14. The clock is our friend on 96.9, 12.40 and Eagle 102.3. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. We're putting the giving and thank if you're looking for a great time, gather up your friends and head to the Brick House Grill in downtown LaGrange. Enjoy live entertainment every weekend. Thursday nights, it's karaoke as well as ladies' night. On Saturdays, come cheer for your favorite college football team and enjoy their football specials. Check out their new menu. Sunday from 11 until 3, the Brick House Grill has their family lunch specials. They have plenty of TVs to watch exciting NFL action. The Brick House Grill, Broom Street in downtown LaGrange. 1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Everybody on their feet trying to stay warm and trying to cheer on these Callaway Cavaliers. St. Pius has the ball first and 10 from the 16 yard line moving right to left. They'll put a slot to this near side, wing to the right side, a back standing beside the quarterback. We'll take the shotgun snap back straight up, look for a screen. He steps up in the pocket. He'll be touched. He gets to the 16. He'll be hit, knocked out of bounds at the 20. Going to be a little short of the first down, I think, Jack. He's going to get out to about the 21. Good coverage by the Cavaliers in the secondary. Got good pressure uh, from the front four, but the quarterback's really, uh, he's agile. Uh, he was able to get out to the right and get out of bounds. Picked up about seven yards. Brings up second down and three. 4.08 to go in your ball game. Your Cavaliers up by a score of 28 to 14. I just think the kind of offense that St. Pius runs, I don't know that they have the ability to come back two touchdowns in four minutes. I could be wrong. Anything can happen, guys. Well, they're not going to outrun us on a long run. That's probably for sure. Quarterback Connor's going to back up, hand the ball off to his tailback. He tries to run that inside trap. He'll pick up the first down at the 28-yard line. Nice tackle by LeBron Zalea uh, on that. Just, just he, He's come ready to play tonight. He has had one well of ball game. He and Keyshawn Freeman from their linebacking positions. All right, let's get that clock moving down to four minutes now. First down and 10 for St. Pius. Again, no urgency on the part of St. Pius. They're just kind of taking their time as they come back on the field. Shotgun snap for the quarterback. He's going to back up, back up, throw a little screen in the middle of the field to the 30. And get uh, knocked out of the bounds at about the 36-yard line. I don't think two's getting up, guys. Yeah, a missed tackle over there that time by Dre. Uh, by Dre over there, number number 11 for the Cavaliers. Dre Martin, that would have kept him in bounds and kept that clock running. But as we did, we missed it and got him out of bounds and uh, got that clock stopped. And uh, Ruffin is going to the bench over there. Looks like that same shoulder, Greg. Now he got nailed out of bounds. He came down hard on his left shoulder and rolled over, and he got up. But the coach took, pulled him back out. I think the... The side, the, the line judge says, hey, you need to you need to go on out of here. Second and one. They bring in a back from the sideline. We're going to a slot to this near side. Quarterback checks his line. Eight seconds left on the play clock. Backs up, backs up, gonna throw a quick out. Intercepted! Intercepted. Trey Martin! 30. 
He's going to go all the way to 10, 5. Touchdown, Cowboy Cavaliers on an interception by Dre Martin. Can you say semifinals, Jack? Woo! Woo! Oh. What a play by Dre Martin. Stepped in front of that pass, picked it off, and went the distance. And with 3.34 to go, your Callaway 35, 34, St. Pius 14 with the extra, extra point coming. Hey, Tony, he held on to that one, didn't he? He sure did, didn't he, baby? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to attempt a point after touchdown as we try to put this ball, ball game away. <laughs> Snap is coming. Hole, kick is up. And that kick goes right through to add one more. 35-14 with 3.34 left to go. We're going to take a breath, and we'll come right back. For the Cowley Cavaliers are doing the job tonight on 96.9, 12.40. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Call the Mallory Agency today or check them out on Facebook or on the web at MalloryAgency.com. Ball on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. All right, I need a really nice lucky coin so that I could give to the coaching staff to take up halfway between here and Buford for the, the coin toss that may be coming. Let's let's play 334, Jack, okay? And then we'll get happy, okay? <laughs> There's the kick. High kick. Fair catch call for the 30. And that's where St. Pius will have it first and 10. Are you nervous, Tony? Yeah. Uh, I, I've seen too many hey, things. But, hey, man, look, I watched it last, I watched George and Auburn last week. Ain't nothing over till it's over. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that fat lady can start warming up. Well, I sure, I sure hope so. But I ain't going to celebrate for about three minutes and 34 seconds. Unless, I promise. I, I know you're feeling. But, I, I just, you know, from a business standpoint, uh, I, they just don't have it to come back three touchdowns in 33 three minutes. I understand. But I never take nothing for granted, I my brother. You, brother. <laughs> They break the huddle, <laughs> taking their time back to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback Connors will have a single back behind him. Steps back, checks his line, and a timeout call on the field by the Cavaliers with 3.33 left to go. Quick 30 seconds back to the station, 35-14. years, Holmes Pharmacy has been a part of your life and your neighbor, and through all those years, it's still locally owned and operated. Holmes Pharmacy on Commerce Avenue has a drive through window and has always had the time to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We're ready for you to join our family at Holmes Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Perry Prather. If you're tired of the large box stores and are looking for fast personal service, come by today in Hamilton or LaGrange at 136 Commerce Avenue. Holmes Pharmacy, where we take care of you one prescription at a time. Why? LaGrange.edu slash journey. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Cowboy Calder football. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's the three numbers on the clock. Three minutes, 33 seconds as the Cowboy Cowboys are leading 35-14. That's the most important hey, numbers hey, what, up there. Wasn't it 334 just a second ago? No pun intended, but it was 334, guys. Yeah, you're exactly right. <laughs> and before they snapped the ball, they'd run a clock off. Second off. Man. All right, here we go. Trips to this near side. Quarterback Connors. We'll go under center. Put a man in motion, take the snap, roll to this near side, got a man in his face, dodges one, dodges two, throws an incomplete pass to stop the clock. Unbelievable Eddie. pressure that time. <laughs> Lorenzo Patterson, number 20. Uh, Brandon Body in at linebacker, number 25, fresh set of legs. Number 14, Deion Smith, good coverage in the secondary, really nowhere to go. Cavaliers playing deep, deep back here with Tess Parks, about 30 yards in the downfield, so uh, try to keep everything in front of them. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the uh, prevent, but I like it right here. You know, what I'm really enjoying is I looked down at the, the, the stands a little bit of some of these guys that started this program that are here that, you know, have been Cavaliers their whole time in high school. They're really proud of these young men. Snap to the quarterback who's going to again roll to his right. Looking, looking, throws it downfield. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock again with 321. 
Good job that time by the Cavaliers. They kept everything in front of them. Uh, got good pressure from number 19, Nooney Anderson. Again, uh, Deion Smith, number 14. That fell front four doing a great job of uh, providing pressure and uh, going to give them a break here with third down about 10. Go get some fresh legs in there to try to uh, keep that pressure coming. So um, looks like we got uh, number 16, Aaron Clausell, back in the game. And again, uh, third down now and 10 for the Cavaliers. 3.20 to go to the semifinals, fellas. I'm down here with, uh, with Ricky Parks on the sidelines. He hears mama singing in the stands <laughs> I think above everybody no doubt you can probably hear it from your microphone there's a snap to the quarterback he's gonna roll this right it was a deep setup because he knows that they're gonna be all over him he completes the pass to the 45 We're gonna bring him down right there so they'll get a first down they'll stop the clock to move the chains 35 14 Callaway leading right now clock's gonna stop like you said to move the chains and uh, Cavaliers will let them have that all day with yeah. three minutes to go as long as they keep that ball in the middle of the field. Uh, St. Pius has two timeouts remaining. Uh, so far, they haven't used them. The clock winds down to 310. So the clock is the uh, the best friend that we have right now, guys. Ticks down to 305. From a pistol set, quarterback will roll to his right. Connors looks downfield. Looks downfield. Looks still. Now throws the ball. Complete. Did he catch it? The incomplete. Big hit over there again. I don't know. That may be number 12, Dante Lindsay. Incomplete over there. Now, that's Jess Marks, number one. Actually, he decided the line well, got one call it incomplete and one complete. Come on now. All right, uh, let's see. I ruled against them last time. I think they're going to call it complete. They're up in each other's face. Let's no! Incomplete, <laughs> incomplete pass. Incomplete. Well, he didn't complete the catch all the way to the ground. He may have got his feet down, but when he hit the ground, Greg, the ball came out. So I think I you have to complete the catch all the way now. At least I know that's the rule in the pros. So we'll. So he uh, did not have possession as he was going down, so the ball will be brought back. It'll be third down now. It'll be second down. With 2.52 left to go, 35-14. And some excited Cali Cavaliers down there. As the 18s will go down to four. Number right. nine, number nine, Jalen Allen coming in to, uh, to give uh, R.J. Wortham a little break over there on that left side. Tez, <coughs> Tez back way deep as a safety. They're going to hand the ball off to their tailback who's wow. coming to the far side. Pelt dodges two. Wow, he, he Keyshawn did. Freeman, R.J. Wortham. And number, they keep number, him in bounds. Wow, number 16 there for the Cavaliers, Aaron Clausell. Great job by Keyshawn Freeman initially. And Aaron Clausell kept him in bounds. That clock continues to run now with 2.35 to go to the semifinals, guys. I don't understand the, that play call, guys. Just uh, I do. They don't have anything to run. Well, they, uh, they, well, no, they, they, their past plays have not, we, not been terrible. No. Do we have a... I got a score update on Buford earlier where they was leading like 22 to nothing. Anybody know anything yet? Let's see. George may have just sent me something. I'll check it real quick. As they're going to run this next play. Back to the pistol set. The quarterback's going to roll to his right. Connors looks downfield. No pressure on him this time. Going to throw the ball complete across the middle of the field. He tries to get that out of bounds. And he's going to get, he's going to get out of bounds there at the 38-yard line. 29-6. Buford in the fourth is what we got right now. All right. Still had uh, Ringgold and Washington County up at halftime. So we'll hopefully get uh, some scores for those two in just a little bit. And, of course, if the Cavaliers are able to hold on for the next two minutes and three seconds, they'll get the winner of the Buford Carver of Columbus game. Uh, and we certainly hope that we have a great uh, coin flip tomorrow to bring the Buford Wolves down here. That's, that would be a great advantage oh, to have the Cowboys Stadium. That would be big. You're exactly right. We've got a timeout on the field. Looks like an equipment problem for one of the Cavaliers down there. Well, like Culpepper's got an issue with his helmet. St. Pius can uh, kind of feel what's about to happen. Actually, Jalen Allen. They'll have to come off the field as they check on that. Number 18 for the Cavaliers, J.T. Wortham, going to take his place. J.T.'s had a pretty good ball game tonight. You know, one thing you see, Jack, is, is, is the depth of the Cavaliers. They played a lot of people, and it's really helped them here in the fourth yep. quarter. Back to the pistol formation for the quarterback. Connors will roll to this near side. Has a man blocking in front of him, throws the ball downfield, tipped and knocked out of bounds. Great job that time by the Cavaliers. Number 32, Jay, Phil Jay Fuller got in the throwing lane. Jay just came into the game and was able to tip that pass away. Bring up about second down and 10 now with 157 to go, Jack, to the semifinal. Boy, that sounds good. <laughs> it sounds really, really wow. good. Don't you wish it? The Callaway, the dome. <laughs> the Callaway Cavaliers. How about that? Woo! History in the making, Yes, baby. sir. 1996, we began out there. It's 2013, Coach Wiggins and his staff. Takes a little time to build tradition, guys, but, boy, he's done a good job. He sure has. 35-14 is the score. 
They take the snap. Quarterback's going to roll back to this near side, looking downfield, looking, looking. Going to throw it towards the end, actually the 10. It'll be incomplete. They'll stop the clock again with a minute 50. Good Tom job by Tez Parks down there from his free safety. Yes, that's Tez Parks at free safety. Uh, broke in front of that play and uh, tipped it away from the receiver. So, uh, got Greg down the sideline. Go ahead. No, you need to come down here. Oh, me? No, yeah, Tony needs to interview uh, Pete. All right. You deserve this, buddy. We're on the way, bro. We'll send him on down, so I'll, I'll keep you here while uh, I keep you keep your headphones warm. Don't worry. Got you toboggan? All right, got you. All right, Tony's going to head down there so he can interview Pete at the in the post game. That'll be a, a special moment here. 35-14 is the score. And the timeout is called by Callaway to give Tony enough time to get down there. They, they take a break. We'll take a break as well. <laughs> at least he's going downhill, Jack. There you go. Minute 50 left to go in this contest. This is 96-9, 1240 and Eagle, 1023. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back. Uh, got a few uh, scores for you. Got a final for the Ringo beating Central 35 10. Washington County has won 39 17 over Blessed Trinity. And we still have a Buford leading 36 6 over Carver in the fourth quarter. So it's coming down to the final four. They break the huddle. It is third down now for St. Pius. The quarterback will be in a shotgun set this time. He'll have man to his left. Steps up, takes the shotgun snap. He's just going to run right up in the middle of the field, and he'll be brought down at the 35-yard line. Clock will continue to tick. A minute 42 left to go. And, Greg, that was almost like a uh, we, we give up play. We give up play. That's right. It's like, uh, you know, the better man won. Uh, they just really acknowledged it a while ago. They just solidified it tonight. Right? Just that last play. Kind of says it all for St. Pius. Says it all for what the Callaway Cavaliers have done tonight. They break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down now. And again, they're just taking their time, letting the clock tick off. They realize there's no way they can come back from this deficit, 35-14. They're going to end in style, looks like. They'll take the snap. Quarterback going to roll to this near side, looking, 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 going to throw downfield, complete at the middle of the field. And to tell you what, if, Greg, if they had run that play more this ball game, if they complete another 10-yard pass, I think that this would be a different ball game. Oh, I totally agree. I, I'm sitting here watching their, their pistol offense, and, you know, that's not a bad uh, formation for these guys to run, not a bad uh, scheme that, that they, they've been able to, to move the ball, got a lot of play action out of it. You can uh, – there's a lot of things you can do with that. Now, we are in a prevent set, so we're really, you know, a soft zone. Uh, they're, they're able to throw the ball under us a lot, so that, that's probably a reason why they're making so many completions. Oh, Tony's having a good time congratulating all the coaches on the sideline. Oh, he, he's, he's they, a person walked by on that sideline head and said, hey, too, as they're going to roll downfield, throw it, it's going to be, uh, that's not a catch. Incomplete. Yep. Uh, they'll bring it back. And that was 41 down. seconds remaining until history is made at Callaway Cavaliers. Wow. First time in school history they've gone to the semifinals. Woohoo! So here they come. The Cavaliers step up to the ball. The clock is stopped with the incomplete pass with 41 seconds left to go. 35 14. That's going to be a special number that the Cavaliers will remember for years to come. They break the huddle, make their way back to the line of scrimmage. St. Pius quarterback will go under center. Actually, he'll step back, check his line. Clock's down to five, four, three, two. And that'll be the, actually, that'll be a delay of game call. So it's 41 seconds. They'll back him up five from there. Excuse me, it's third down. It's going to be second down. I forgot we got, they got a new first down a minute ago. They'll back him up second and 15. Tony, Tony's over here. Brown, well, you know my batteries would go out about this time. <laughs> Coleman Vice. Hey, don't blame me. <laughs> that gave you spare batteries. 35-14 is Greg's going to change his batteries out in these last few minutes of the ball game. We hope so. 41 seconds left to go. And quarterback will take it. 
hand the ball off into the line. Actually, the ball's on the ground now. They pick it up, back across the middle, down to the 15, 10, 5, and St. Pius will score with 41 seconds left to go in the ball game. And actually, down to 31. So they'll put an extra meaningless touchdown on the board. Just justification for that uh, call it that I'm. Did you change your batteries out, Greg? I'm going to work on it. All right, go change your batteries out. I, yeah, we, we got this right here while you go ahead and do that. We'll make, they're going to swing the gate. They'll move the bias back up to the line of scrimmage. 35-20 right now is your score. 31 seconds left to go. Snap, hold, kick is up. And that kick hits the scoreboard. He <laughs> kicked the foot out of that ball. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. 35 20 is your score. St. Pius just scored, and they're going to be kicking the ball off in just a moment on 96 9, 12 40, and Eagle 1023. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CBT, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CBT help you manage. Manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CBNT, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Now, back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back as St. Pius has put uh, seven more points on the board. 35 21 right now is your score. They'll be set to kick the ball off again. And a hands team for sure is up uh, around the 50-yard line as an onside kick is sure to come. We'll wait and see how this pans out. Kicker going to step up. This is guys begin to run. They have the field. There's the kick. Bounces. And it goes out of bounds. And they'll mark it at the 35, and the Cavaliers will have it. They'll have to take one knee, and it'll be on to the quarterfinal round. Yeah, it really is special. And, and uh, just seeing how emotional Coach Wiggins was last week at the end of that game, um, you know, th this is going to be kind of a different feel, I think, uh, you know, because it, cause you know your next opponent is Buford. It is going to be super serious business after this, after uh, after they take a few hours and enjoy this victory because it's going to be uh, – it's going to be, I mean, this has been the toughest task so far this year. Next week it's going to be even tougher than this one. So uh, they're going to have to really put on their uh, thinking hats and get ready for Buford. Well, they've got the tools. They've got the weapons. They've got one of the most uh, creative offenses out there. Conway Cowboys will make their way up to the line of scrimmage. Parks will go under center. They'll snap it to him, and he'll probably take a knee. Let's see what happens. There's a snap. He takes the knee, backs away, and the clock will tick down. And ladies and gentlemen, your Cali Cavaliers have won in, in the third round of the playoffs for the first time as Culpepper will run into the ball game to spell a young man. 14, 13, clock continues to tick. And they haven't even started the play clock, so that's going to do it. St. Pius has already lined up on the far side. Now the Cavaliers will line up. They'll make their way across the middle of the field. And that'll be it is official 35 21 the Cowboy cavaliers have won this ball game in advance in georgia high school football let's take a break to catch our breaths and enjoy this moment you listen 96 9 and 12 40 wlag as a business owner nothing compares to the sense of pride you feel when unlocking your business first thing in the morning in this moment it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes it doesn't matter if the business down the street has the same insurance you do what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them have you covered auto owners insurance the no problem people the mallory agency 301 west harrelson street lagrange visit them online at malloryagency.com sometimes the path of life takes us to a place we never expected a cancer journey can be unsettling, but our oncology team at West Georgia Health in LaGrange has the compassion, technology, and expertise you need to help lead the way. We have provided leading cancer care for this region for 75 years and meet the rigorous accreditation standards required by the Commission on Cancer. Offering the latest in infusion and radiation therapies, our 
multi-specialty team of physicians meets weekly to review individual cases and determine the most effective treatment options for those patients. At West Georgia Health, we've put all our services together for you so you can focus on one thing, fighting cancer. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. To learn more, visit WGHealth.org. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. And that is going to be a huge moment in Callaway Cavalier history as they win this ball game 35-21. That's going to be the final in this one. And uh, Coleman Vice joining me up here in the booth. And uh, you guys, I tell you what, it is such an exciting moment for these Cavaliers. As uh, Tony Walls down there in the, in the middle of the scrum, he'll get Coach Wiggins for us in just a moment. But uh, what an exciting, exciting time for them as they uh, celebrate this big win. Oh, yeah. And you can hear the festivities outside, the cheering and screaming. And, and uh, the stands still have a lot of fans out there. And, of course, at the... Uh, out at the 30-yard line, everybody's all in a big huddle and screaming and hollering. And they're doing the final uh, prayer and, and a, a short motivational speech there by uh, Coach Wiggins. And I don't know if a motivating speech would be right, but uh, uh, a speech nonetheless. Uh, something about uh, having a chance to say, uh, you know, when you put your mind to it, look what you can do. And, and, uh, and here they go. And now they're all cheering and jumping up and down. And i got to tell you, Jack, you, this is what high school football is all about. You, you get a chance to work at something at the beginning of the year. You never know where it's going to land. Sometimes it's the first round. Sometimes it's the second round. Sometimes you don't make the playoffs. Yep. But when it comes together like it is this year for Callaway, it is a fun thing to sit through. Well, it's, it's so exciting. And, and, you know, I'm also thinking about some of the prognosticators that had St. Uh, Pius by a, uh, at least three uh, winning this ball game, And, you know, it, it, see the Cavaliers winning this one 35-21 instead, definitely going the other way. Oh, uh, you know, i got to tell you, that, that nobody has, uh, you know, and, I, and I've been guilty of it too, not really knowing where Callaway stands on how good they are. And, and we're starting to see now that this team is, is, is a very, very good team. Uh, the Harris County loss uh, uh, was kind of a shock to all of us. We really weren't expecting uh, uh, that kind of game, and and uh, and now we're starting to see that uh, uh, they they have jailed, they've learned, and and grown into a great football team. And uh, there's nobody bad starting from here to the end. I mean, everybody that they'll play uh, deserves to be where they are. And and uh, if you if you win there, you're you're beating the best. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. When we come back. We'll have Tony Walls with Coach Pete Wiggins live here from 96.9, 1240 and Eagle 1023. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with auto owner's insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens to your car, home, or business. In this moment, get an agent who'll protect you in that moment. Auto owner's insurance. The no problem people. Mallory Agency. 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at MalloryAgency.com. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706 523 you need to brush your teeth at least twice a day, and you need to have your teeth cleaned and examined at least twice a year by a dentist. We have heard this since we've been kids, but sometimes life can get busy and we forget to brush and skip an appointment, and we turn around and it's been a while since we've been to the dentist, so let's get back on track. Call Dr. Childress for an appointment today at 706-882-1888 or on the web at drchildress.com because your smile is very important, and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress, next to the post office and call. Volumet Center in LaGrange. Now back to the field for more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at Eagle1023.com. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. Tony Walls is down there in the middle of the big scrum and, and Tony, how's how's the atmosphere down there? Uh oh turn your mic on there, Tony. Uh oh, still struggling with it. <laughs> 
Just press the button once. No, hold the button down. Try hold it down for two seconds and then let it up. Nothing like technology to make things go just great there. Well, you know, there's, there a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of excitement down here, guys. We've never done this before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there's a boy, there's some smiles going on, a lot of tears going on, a lot of folks shaking. It's uh, it's pretty special down here. I'm going to find Coach Wiggins. He's over there with the... Uh, with the high dollar press right now, I'll catch him when he gets ready to leave. Okay. Well, I think what the, we're going to keep it down there with you, because you know, Tony, uh, you you have been such a tremendous supporter of this team and a good uh, personal friend of Coach Wiggins, and I know that you are enjoying this as you uh, hug Bishop down there. And uh, this has been a special, special night for the Cavaliers. Well, you know, we were talking. I was talking to some of the kids when this school was was first came about. These kids weren't born. <laughs> yeah. You know, you think about it. Some of these kids were were, were babies. You know, and and some of them weren't even born yet. I'm saying. Darren Walker down here, former Cavalier. I'm going to get me five from him. To Parks down here. I'm going to try to keep Parks, get, keep working. I always give him a hard time about roll tide. But he's uh, what a great job he did. I'm going to try to catch up with Coach Wiggins down here. Tess, talk to me, brother. What do you think? Uh, it feels very good. I'm just speechless right now. First team ever in Kelly history making the first round. We got one more game going to the dome. Isn't it amazing? I mean, really, when you think about what you guys have done this year, how much hard work y'all did, not only now but in the summer, Tess, I mean, it's incredible. Yes, sir. It's very incredible. St. Pius came in, top-rate team. Nobody on the internet had us to win. They had us get blown out by 20 points, and we came in and beat them by 14. Well, I like our uh, I like our chances against anybody down here at Cowboy Stadium on this turf. We play well down here. Congratulations, brother. Good luck next week. Thank you. All right, so that's Tez Parks down there with Tony Walls. And I tell you what, anybody walks by him, Tony's going to grab him. Uh, he's down there. He's, uh, Tony has got his Mud Creek Callaway jersey on down there right in the middle of the field with Walls on the back of it. Uh, thanks to Greg Hicks and Mud Creek Graphics for providing those for us. And uh, he's really enjoying himself down there. We'll see if we can catch up with Coach in just a second. I don't know. Did you get a Did you get a number jersey? I, no, I got a troop jersey. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I didn't get anything. I well, just, that, you know, that, just okay. that up. <laughs> Sorry, you missed that meeting. <laughs> but uh, we're awfully excited, and uh, and of course we'll have uh, uh, Tony and uh, and Greg Hicks will give you the call next week. And Good job, uh, we're really Good job. excited about uh, having uh, those two guys bring you the action. And uh, no matter if it's in Buford or if it happens to be back here at Callaway Stadium, they'll have to go do a coin flip tomorrow, and uh, and we'll have all that for you uh, at uh, um, on Saturday morning quarterback in the morning. Hopefully, we'll have that uh, answer for you. Uh, as I know, they'll meet early in the morning Saturday to do the coin flip, and they'll have to meet somewhere uh, in the middle of nowhere, probably. All right, Tony is uh, getting a chance to talk with uh, Coach now, so uh, uh, we'll let them uh, jump in there. Go ahead, Tony, and uh, say hi to Coach Wiggins. Actually, Tony's embracing a number of guys. I think he's still trying to uh, we're trying to pull him away from that. There we go. That's, a, that's some happy people hey, down there. Hey, on the I field. got the man here with me, guys. Pete, talk to me, bro. Real proud of our kids uh, for the preparation all week and uh, all year. You know, they prepared so hard and uh, uh, a lot of great, great kids. And uh, they worked hard and uh, just really, really uh, uh, proud of those young men. We riding through in the morning? <laughs> We got to get it done. <laughs> hey, you see your fan club in front of you, though. Do you know the, you know them clowns right there in front of you? Huh? Oh yeah, they come a long way. Didn't they? I'm gonna interview them and find out about your life history. They're next, so you better come clean. You better let me know something. Now. That, that's okay. Go Cavalier. All right, here's the other one. Are you doing the flip in the morning, or we gonna send somebody can win one? I'm I'm gonna do the flip. You're gonna do it well. We're gonna get a coach, and we're gonna do that live in the morning. If that's all right with you, okay? Be great. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Congratulations, buddy. All right. Tony down there on the field, and he's just enjoyed the heck out of this win as the Cavaliers have won this 35-21. We'll give you highlights of this ballgame when we come back. You're listening to the postgame show now on 96.9, 1240, and Eagle 102.3. Hi, friends. Just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. We're putting the giving in Thanksgiving this month with some great deals, like the stylish 2013 Kia Optima for only $19.9. That's backed by Kia's industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come by Kia of LaGrange today and find out what being a part of the family is all about. Our sales staff is focused on finding you the right car for the right price, hassle-free. Come visit us online at kiablagrange.com and help support your local economy. We're open 888, so don't be late. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706 523 
323-0014. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Sometimes the path of life takes us to a place we never expected. A cancer journey can be unsettling, but our oncology team at West Georgia Health in LaGrange has the compassion, technology, and expertise you need to help lead the way. We have provided leading cancer care for this region for 75 years and meet the rigorous accreditation standards required by the Commission on Cancer. Offering the latest in infusion and radiation therapies, our multi-specialty team of physicians meets weekly to review individual cases and determine the most effective treatment options for those patients. At West Georgia Health, we've put all our services together for you so you can focus on one thing, fighting cancer. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. To learn more, visit wghealth.org. You're listening to Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Now back to more Callaway Cavalier football. Welcome back to Callaway Cavalier football. The Cavaliers have won this ball game by a score of 35-21. Tony Wall still down the field. I think that the TV folks are interviewing him now. Do you, well, <laughs> Moose, Moose is down here with WJCM. Moose wants to get me live. You know, after I blew up at halftime, I think I inspired him out here in the second <laughs> half. So I'll have to apologize to my listeners. It ain't my fault the referees couldn't see that clock ran out in the second half. Okay? We, it ain't my fault. All right? I couldn't help that. I couldn't help that. But no. we, we, they act, The refs actually came back and wanted to see the replay because when we were doing a video stream, we, car- we carried it back and let him watch it, and it is too close to call. Oh, when, I, when I watched it back on the, play, on the uh, replay, it was very close. Well, uh, when you're at home, when you're at home, call when you're supposed to get that call. Well, I I know, I know. <laughs> hey, we'll take it, though, brother. It didn't bite us, did it? No, it didn't. And I also want to mention Saturday morning quarterback tomorrow morning at Kia of LaGrange, Chick-fil-A Biscuits. Y'all got to come out and join us there at Kia of LaGrange. We very well, hopefully, will have the answer of where Callaway will be playing live on the air on Saturday morning at Kia of LaGrange. Don't miss it. You got to come out and join us for that. It's going to be a big fun, and there's nothing better than coming out and uh, uh, talking to Coach Wiggins and cheering him on for Saturday morning. All right, let's go ahead and take a moment down to walk through the scoring in this ball game. Take a look at a few of the ha- the highlights from the first half of play. First, we'll begin uh, with St. Pius got the ball first on the opening kickoff. Uh, they ran the ball off pretty deep into Callaway territory. Uh, then they ended up with a, a field goal. Uh, actually, that was a, pr- a pretty good victory for the, the Cavaliers. Uh, Thomas O'Leary, their big kicker, put uh, three points on the board, so they score first. Callaway gets the ball. They start the ball the, the ball game at the 20-yard line. Uh, the ball had been kicked into the end zone. Uh, they run the ball mostly, but it is a touchdown by Parks. It's going to start the scoring for the Cavaliers. Parks will take it. He loses the ball, picks it up, rolls to his left. He's got a, a, a seam down the middle. That's where he beat you, Jack. Five, touchdown, Kelly Cavaliers. What a great play that time by Tess Parks. He simply came up. He, made a, he took a broken play and scored a big touchdown for the Cavaliers. So the Cavaliers will be leading with 57 seconds left to go in the first quarter. One of the first, the fastest first quarters I can remember. 7-3 was your score. St. Pius will get the ball. Uh, they would uh, return it all the way back to the 41-yard line. Then we move into the second quarter of play. Uh, they, again, they did a tremendous job. I can tell you what, this is an excellent team, St. Pius is. The Golden Lions, they had a big fourth down and two. They ended up getting the first down. Uh, but then there was a, a big play that where Terry Godwin actually rips the ball from the hands of one of the, uh, the receivers, runs the ball that, back downfield, but we it turns out that the quarterback had stepped over the line of scrimmage after he threw it. So the ball comes back. They get another shot. But uh, they end up having to uh, punt the ball. And they punt it out of bounds because they don't want Godwin to have another chance at this one because Godwin played such a tremendous ball game this entire time. So the Cowboy Cavaliers got the ball on the 37th. Uh, they, they take the ball there and their first to play. Uh, they take it down to the five-yard line. And then it will be Culpepper getting into the end zone. Takes a snap. Tosses it to Culpepper. Culpepper cuts back to the middle. Goes towards the end zone. Did he get in? He got in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cali Cavaliers. Wow, great job by Eddie Cope. Hey. Boy, he put that head down, and he smelled that goal line and got across there. Good job on the left side by the Cavaliers. As the Cavaliers go up by a score of 13-3, to extra point to follow, 8-24 to go here in the second quarter. 
So 14-3 would be your score. The Callaway Cavaliers did do it. Actually, we were perfect on extra points tonight, so 14-3. Uh, then uh, they get the ball again. St. Pius would and uh, drive down, drive down, and in a very controversial call, Coleman was mentioned that a minute ago, they do get a, uh, a field goal off, and it's 14-6 as we went into the tunnel at halftime. We'll tell you about the second half scoring when we come back. You'll listen to the postgame show for the Callaway Cavaliers as they've won by a score of 35-21 to 21 on 96.9-1240 WLAG. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Mom, dad, kids, watch what happens when two separate things become one beautiful, glorious thing. No longer will there be any arguing, shouting, or tear-dropping, but instead only hugging, high-fiving, and loving. That's because Orange Julius has been added to Dairy Queen. Kids get their favorite Dairy Queen treats like blizzards, ice cream cones, sundaes, and shakes, while mom and dad gets a delicious Orange Julius fruit drink, premium and light premium fruit smoothies. It's all there together at one store. No longer is it Dairy Queen or Orange Julius, but rather it's Dairy Queen and Orange Julius on New Franklin Road in La range. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance you do. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them have you covered. Auto Owners Insurance, the No Problem People, the Mallory Agency, 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at MalloryAgency.com. Dr. Childress is proud to add Dr. Meredith Garner to the staff, so that means you need an appointment, it's just that much easier. So if you need teeth cleaning to implants, Dr. Childress is ready to help you with sedation and comfort dentistry. Dr. Childress's staff is all about you feeling comfortable, so drop in and meet Dr. Meredith Gardner at Dr. Childress's office, 114 Calumet Center in LaGrange, right down from the post office and on the web at drchildress.com. Hi friends, just like to hear with Kia of LaGrange. We're putting the giving in Thanksgiving this month with some great deals. Like the stylish 2013 Kia Optima for only $19.9. That's backed by Kia's industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Come by Kia of LaGrange today and find out what being a part of the family is all about. Our sales staff is focused on finding you the right car for the right price, hassle-free. Come visit us online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Well, we're open at eight, so don't be late. Now, back to more Callaway Cavalier football on Eagle 1023 and online at eagle1023.com. Welcome back to a special night for the Callaway Cavaliers as they've won this ball game and advance on to the, uh, wow, the final four uh, of yeah. the Georgia High School uh, playoffs. Let's uh, really quickly run down uh, the scoring in the second half. is 14-6 when we came back out. Callaway would get the ball, and uh, it would be an onside kick by uh, the folks from St. Pius as they tried to make something happen. But uh, we'd end up with the ball on the 48-yard line, and in a three-play drive, we'd score. Parks will go down the line. Cut back inside. He's at the 40. I don't he believe that's 30, it, Jack. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cali Cavaliers. Not a flag on the field. No flags. That's how you spoke. That's how you answer a play as the Cavaliers take three plays to score from about 60 yards to go up by a score of 20 to 6 with the extra point to follow. So 21-6 would be the, the score there. St. Pius would get the ball, and uh, they would answer right back with a touchdown and two-point conversion to make it 21-14 with 8.33 left to go in the third quarter of play. Uh, they kick uh, kind of a high kick, uh, not necessarily an onside, but just a non-returnable kick uh, right after that. Uh, uh, Dre Martin would do a good job recovering that one. Uh, but then the Cavaliers would get back on the board, and it would be Eddie Culpepper doing the damage again. It'll be Culpepper, the ball carrier. He's looking for a hole. Finds one. Gets across the 50. Still in seat the 40. Got one man to beat. It's a 20, 10, 5. Eddie Culpepper all alone scores a touchdown for the Cavaliers. No flags, Jack. No flags. No flags. What a great run by Eddie Culpepper. Josh Williams, number 50. Uh, David Powell, number 57. Courtney Lafe, number 56. Big gaping hole on the right side. Eddie Culpepper turned on those jets. And there's that man possessed again, Greg. 
You might recall that I said that uh, it was 8.33 when they scored for St. Pius. 8.14 is when the Cavaliers would score. So another quick, quick drive as they get the ball down there uh, and, and score. 28.14 would be your score at that time. St. Pius would get the ball again. Uh, the ball would be turned over on downs. Callaway would get the ball. They'd have to punt. St. Pius once again with the ball. It's going back and forth. Uh, 28.14 was still your score as we went to the fourth quarter of play. But uh, the Cavaliers would get the ball in the end zone one more time. Backs up, backs up, going to throw a quick out. Intercepted, Intercepted. Trey Martin. 30. He's going to go all the way to 10, 5. Touchdown, Cowboy Cavaliers on an interception by Trey Martin. Can you say semifinals, Jack? Woo! Woo! What a play by Trey Martin. Stepped in front of that pass, picked it off and went the distance. And with 3.34 to go, you're Callaway 34, St. Pius 14 with the extra, extra point coming. And, yes, we can say semifinals as we go in there and uh, pick up that, that uh, score. Great job by Dre Martin to pick off that. To read that very well. Uh, so 35-14 was the score. They would put one more score on the board. St. Pius would. Uh, this final score would end up being 35-21. Whew. Wow. So that, that's, that, a lot of scoring. that's a whole lot of scoring, and so proud of these Cavaliers to uh, actually set a school record with the most wins in the season, the the deepest in the playoffs they've ever been. Uh, go, going to uh, be taking on Buford next week, waiting to hear from a, toy, a coin toss to see how that's going to go. Uh, so just you know, a lot of, it's still up in the air. But you know, and guys, I am so proud of what uh, these guys have accomplished, and am uh, so looking forward to seeing uh, them take on Buford next week and play an incredible game. Yeah, and I think they will. And and uh, and I, I do want to mention St. Pius. They were the runner-ups in state. They lost to Buford in the state finals last year. So Callaway just beat last year's state runner-up. They're going to take on the the last year's state champions next week at Buford. So uh, so I tell you, you get past uh, these two uh, schools, you have done something big. And and I and I feel good about it. I know Callaway can do it. I know Callaway Nation's ready to see them do it. Now they just got to go down there and take on Buford and make it happen. And I do want to mention also about St. Pius. They have they haven't left the field yet. Uh, this game's been over now for, what, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and yeah. they're still on the field. They had a huge lineup of all the players and fans and everything else, took each, se each senior and let them go down the entire line of players and parents and, and hug them and tell them how much they appreciate them. And you're in a away game, and you just made a line that went from the – from the goal line all the way around about the 30 to 40 yard line and it's three or four people deep that's an impressive amount of people that came how many were willing to stay out in the cold for that much longer and have the hugs and all that and and give these seniors the proper uh give them their due of how hard they've worked and uh and how much they appreciated what they've done and uh, and also shows the underclassmen too that look, if you put in the time, you put in the work, and you do what you're going to do, we're going to appreciate you, and you're going to be uh, uh, you're going you're to you're get the pats on the back that uh, you should do when you when you work in there in August and all the other times. It's not so much fun. So, uh, man, it was really cool to watch St. Pius. That, I bet that's a tradition they've been doing for many years, and uh, and that's something I think every school should take up because that that looked really cool out there. Yeah, real proud of that team. But again, a great ball game played by both teams. Uh, Callaway gets the, the better of them, and uh, it's going to be uh, the Final four, uh, we, we've been talking about it. Uh, it's going to be Buford and Callaway uh, next week, and then it's going to be Ringgold and Washington County on the other side. So uh, very familiar names, uh, especially Washington County, a, 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 a perennial powerhouse down there. And uh, we've, we've covered a couple of ball games uh, in the past down there in Washington County. And I'm joined down by Greg Hicks in the booth. He's uh, stepped down here. and uh, we, We've got a microphone left right here. There we go. Uh, he's, uh, he's been on the field. He's warming up his hands a little bit. And Don't got his, you know it. Got his cell phone uh, humming there. A lot of people texting him and calling him and uh, Greg, uh, it was an incredibly emotional, powerful game for the Cavaliers, fighting through some adversity, a few calls that didn't necessarily go our way, but uh, really at the end it doesn't matter because they can't come away with a W. Well, that's true, and, and a lot of emotions on the sideline, especially the second half. It started out real quick, you know, first, first possession, second half, third play, boom, we score. And, uh, you know, it was just uh, downhill from there for the St. Pius uh, Golden Lions and Callaway. They just, they just knew that they, they had to control this game in the second half. They came out, no questions asked, put the game away, and, and especially with Martin intercepted, stepped in front, intercepted. He would not be denied. One of the highlights of his entire career. Um, and uh, just the, the guys right there just having a lot of fun on a uh, post game. You know, Coach Wiggins is out there interviewing everybody. They're hugging everybody. It's just it's history in the making. Uh, um, and then all we can do is just continue on. And, and they'll go tomorrow morning at a neutral site. 
Tony and, and I asked Pete where where are we going. He said, you know, I, I just don't even know. I said, who? he said, who won? I said, do you know Buford won? He told, he told me, he said, uh, you know, I need an hour. I need an hour to regroup here. I, from what I understand, they'll meet somewhere near the airport. Uh, okay. Austin, All right. So uh, we want, I know Coleman was talking about we're trying to get it. On a plane? Out. Uh, they should fly around. Well, they, you know, Buford does fly where they go, so I don't think I don't think they'll have. <laughs> they to are fly a university, right? right. <laughs> but uh, I think again, they'll I'll take the team plane. <laughs> team plane. I'll talk to Pete in a little while. I'll probably go off to the school, see what's got what they're doing over there. But oh, absolutely. Uh, I'll try to let you guys know what's going on. And, <laughs> yeah, give us a text. You know, it's a long way up in Blaine Step. But well, it was downhill for you. We got you down there about all minute down fifty. All down there ain't no problem. Just getting back up here—that's a big deal. You know? Gravity is a harsh mistress. It is. Uh, but tell you what, it, it is a, a tremendous win tonight. And uh, you know, there's lots more football still to be played. Now, uh, Coleman and I will actually not be able to be with y'all next week. It's going to be the the two of y'all up here in the booth oh. covering that ball game. Uh, I, I'm, I hope I, you're right, well, Jack. Don't up here in the booth. Well, that's don't, what I'm. Not don't, way don't, up there. don't tell our fans; they may not listen to you, Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll uh, be participating in the the Nutcracker Ballet. Uh, hush, don't want to hear it. I was uh, turn your you, you ain't even holding your mic right. All right. Uh, but uh, we'll be participating in that and can't get out of it. We've been promised into it, and that's actually a performance. If it's a rehearsal, we walk away. But it's an actual performance. People have paid money to see the two of us dance. They actually paid money to see you guys. Yeah. Well. No. Yeah. <laughs> My name's on the T-shirt, so I'm gonna, right, I'll have baby. to be there. Two, two? Right. I have a five-five. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I hear you, bro. Uh, but what, it, a great, what a great night, guys! Woo! I'm gonna tell you, what, you know, down there, I know you guys trying to, we trying to get ready to wrap it up, but boy, you know, when you when you think about 1996, when the school was established, and you think about that's almost what's that, 17, 17 years ago now, yep. and. Uh, a lot of a uh, lot of ups and downs. A lot of a lot of people in and out those doors. And uh, you know, when Pete got here, it gave us some stability and was able to get a, a great staff together and see those kids perform. Like they they really they really put it to St. Pius tonight. They were they were more physical. There were some some of the biggest hits and, I've uh, seen all were, year long ready, tonight. They were inspired. They were ready to play. LeBron Zalea hit people like I've Saint never Pius, seen. I mean, you know, they're not. You know, they're not. Uh, Rinky Dinks. No, they're legit. I mean, they, yeah, hey, legit. hey, last year they were in the finals. Yeah, in I mean, the finals. That's right. So, um, and that was know, that was a ten six ball game. If I'm not mistaken, no, that, yeah, no that was a slobber knocker last year. Yeah, and I mean they they played you know they played them tough. So, but you know what? Tonight's a Cavaliers night, and you know you talk a little bit about next week. You don't have to be better than a team all the time. You just got to be better than they are on one night. Yeah, that's right. So no quarter, you, know, you never know. You know, you get them. You get them down here. Of course, everybody knows their reputation. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it, you know how they are. Well, I think what five of the last six championships at AAA have been won by Buford. Eight championships since 2001. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, it don't matter what classification they in. They don't back down from anybody. Yeah. And so, but you know what you. Uh, again, all you got to do is be better than them on one night. And I'm excited about the opportunity. I know the kids are. I mean, I know it's it's sure. a challenge. All you can ask for as a coach and a player is an opportunity. And uh, so they'll 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 be, they'll be ready. It'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, the final four is what they've made. The final four in the AAA state playoffs. It'll be Buford and Callaway next week, and then Washington County and Ringgold over on the other side. So, so Ringgold uh, beat Central Carroll. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be uh, wow. Quite uh, quite an exciting. Uh, of course, it would have been neat to have Central Carroll go to the, the well, final four. That would have been uh, something. Yeah. Said something about this region. A lot of people texting. Uh, Kurt Schneider said, "We'll see y'all at Lafayette." At the Kia on Lafayette Parkway in the morning, he's excited about it. Uh, I know the Kia family will probably be, uh That might turn if, out to be an hour show. You better I'm, be careful, I'm certainly hoping that uh, Coach Wiggins will I'm come by, in. I'm by no means superstitious. But my new jerseys that it, I got from Mud Creek yeah. it has number two, and it's my yeah. tribute to Johnny Manziel. You go, baby. Okay. I also have a T-shirt on. Tony under football. From Mud <laughs> It actually, I, I haven't had a jersey that had walls on it ever. Yeah, really? Because I got one I with sure a different name. Way. I had a different name on mine when nobody knew it when I messed up. You know? <laughs> I know you had a Hicks jersey. But I, uh, I do. Uh, way now. <laughs> but uh, thank you for my uh, jersey and oh, my T-shirt. Hey, it won't get washed. It'll go home oh, and hang in the closet. Just a, tad, there, just a tad, my I hear you, brother. Just a tad. Just, just hang it up. It'll be <laughs> just that. Don't touch this. You won't have to hang a hanger. It'll, yeah. You have a hanger. It'll just hang by itself. <laughs> but you guys listening in the morning, 8.30 sharp, uh, Coach Wiggins along with Tony Walls will be there live at Kia Showroom on Lafayette Parkway. And, man, or a coach, a coach. A coach to be determined. Yeah. Uh, it, it as Pete will be traveling. Over, you know, Pete will do the corner. Well, yeah. Well, it depends on what time he's got to get there. He may come by for a little bit. It may be somebody else. But there will be a lot of excitement going on. Besides now, selling kids, you know, it would be Callaway football. The thing we could do is I could go with Pete for the coin toss and then just call. 
call into the radio show. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll let y'all all figure that out because there's some folks that are going, oh, look, I got to go to bed and I'm going to not miss a moment. But uh, it, I may it, not quit talking in the morning. Yeah. No. <laughs> he, he ain't done because he wants to listen back to that tape about the, that, that field goal. Uh, 35 21 was, was our final tonight. Yeah. The Kelly Cavaliers have won this ball game and we're so proud of them as they advance to the final four in Georgia high school playoffs. Well, for Greg, any last thoughts, real quick? Uh, no, other than go calf, baby. All right, Tony. Welcome to the semifinals, guys. And yeah. a boy, uh, Cohen, hand the mic over to him. Well, he's sick. I don't know if you want him to have the mic. Britt, get your driver's license ready. You're driving. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because uh, Britt, Britt will be the, the on-site producer if they have to travel. Actually, the on-site producer here, too. So uh, be for before a great facility. Well, oh, it's yeah, a great we, facility. We, we, we yeah. just do stay at Cowboy yeah, State. No doubt, my brother. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he won't want to go shopping at the Mall of Georgia next week. All right. Uh, so well, we appreciate you listening to us and enjoying this ball game. Uh, we've enjoyed it ourselves. But, hey, we're going to enjoy more football next week as we'll bring you Buford and Callaway. Site yet done to, to be determined. We'll let you know about that tomorrow morning during Saturday morning quarterback. For Greg for Tony, for Coleman, for Britt back in the station, for George, for T-Bird, and everybody that helps to put this ball game on. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next week on the radio. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX Resort.